Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Cowboys and the Eagles. An NFC East battle. The Eagles will kick off. Gary Anderson. Back to receive for Dallas. Kevin Williams and Brock Marion. Williams is number 85. They like for him to handle it. The ball blows off, blows off the tee. If it does it again, they'll have somebody hold it. Yeah, I always like these kickers. You know, they're they're the only guys that can wear a different color shoe. In other words, everyone on the team can wear black shoes or white shoes, but whatever the color is, the whole team has to wear the same color other than a kicker. So, of course, he's the guy that's going to wear one each. Born to be different. <laughs> that makes sense. Line shot kickoff to Williams. Took it at about the four, looking for some room. The Eagles have had problems on special teams, and Williams gets a good return, a flag on the play. Outside the 30, about the 34. Mark Woodward made the stop on Kevin Williams. This is going to be against Dallas today's. Referee is Ed Hockley. Number 85 returned it. Number 85 will make a ruling. Holding by the receiving team. 10 yard penalty, first down. Here are the Dallas lineups Troy Aikman, the quarterback. 14 touchdowns, five interceptions. The huge offensive line up in front of him Tune Newton, Derek Kennard at center, Larry Allen, and Eric Williams. Emmett Smith and Darrell Johnston, the runners. Williams, Irvin, and Novacek, the receiver. Johnston leads Emmett Smith, who gets a yard, perhaps. Hit down. As you look at the Eagle defense, Daniel Stubbs and William Fuller are the defensive ends. Red Hall and Andy Harmon in the middle. Govea, the middle linebacker, the ex Redskin. Romanowski and Thomas Taylor who will be on Michael Irvin Greg Jackson Zordich and McMillan in the secondary second down Eggman to throw it out of the pocket and down is Aikman hit by Stubbs and Red Hall Hey, this is a pretty good defensive tackle combination with Andy Harmon. He made the first play. Red Hall makes the second play. They get a good push, a good interior line. You're going to see Red Hall. He's just going to come straight up the middle. You see him? He, start, he starts up the middle, then comes from the outside. You see right here? They get, they get Stubbs coming to the inside. Red Hall going to the outside. He comes right around the corner and gets a sack. A little stunt. This is what Troy Aikman was looking for. But I'll tell you, that coverage by Bobby Taylor was perfect. Three wide receivers this time. Aikman throwing the screen to Emmett Smith. Flag on the play as Smith goes down short of the 20. Mark Woodward made the stop. You just get the feeling uh, yesterday, being around the Eagles, the players and coaches, that whether they were going to win or lose, they were going to come out fired out today. And, and they, they have. sure have. And they have. Ed Hockley motions against Dallas. Barry Switzer over on the Dallas sideline in the sunshine at the Failed moment. By the offense, the left guard, the penalty is declined, brings up fourth down. That happens on the screen pass where the where the offensive lineman gets downfield early. On that play, they call that in the left guard. It would be Nate Newton. And so the Cowboys, John Jett, will be back to punt. Rob Carpenter back deep for the Eagles. It's hard to tell what the wind is doing because it swirls so in the circular stadium. That usually is what it does. And I'll tell you the other thing, the football is not going to be easy to kick today because it's going to be hard. It will be hard. You'll need to compress it. That looked like it came off the side of Jet's foot. Carpenter. Looked like he kicked a brick. Yeah. Bill Bates down to make the stop. 37-yard punt, six-yard return. Rodney Pete will start at quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. In front of him, Brooks McIntyre, McKenzie, Boatswain, and Davis. Ricky Waters, James Saxon will open at fullback. Fred Barnett, Calvin Williams wide, and Ed West 
is the tight end Rodney Pete who last year was with the Cowboys. He has emerged here in Philadelphia as the starter replacing Randall Cunningham. First and ten at the Cowboy 47. Water. Inside the 45 about the 43. Here's the Dallas defense. Leon led a defensive end Chad Hennings and Russell Merrill and inside Tony Tolbert outside led in place of Haley Godfrey Miles in the middle replacing Robert Jones Smith and Edwards outside him in the secondary Deion Sanders Brock Marion Darren Woodson and Larry Brown four wide receivers for the Eagles. to a first down about a yard shy stopped by Brock Marion. Yeah that's not a bad move by the Eagles here Pat to put in extra wide receivers and that makes the Cowboys go to extra defensive backs and then that kind of spreads everything out and then you can run the trap in there you see Guy McIntyre 62 he just pulls you get that whole defense spread out then all you kind of have to do is get a one guy blocked in there and you can pick up a few yards. They'll measure. Waters is carried twice. You see, here's what they do by going to three wide receivers. You see, now the Cowboys have to go to the extra defensive backs, and then what they do is they loosen up. See, so you just have the four linemen here, and then you have a loose front to run against. So you have five defensive backs in there and then all you have to do is get a block or two at the at the point of attack and you can pick up those five or six yards third and about six inches. And the Eagles go with two tight ends. That's kind of quarterback sneak distance usually. Rodney Pete's the quarterback. Water. First down, and that's about all. They needed about six inches. He got about seven. Yeah, that's why you like to have a, a big tailback, you know, a powerful tailback that, like Ricky Waters, is like 220 pounds. So he not only has that elusiveness of a tailback, but when you get in that short yardage, he has that power to pick up the first down because initially, if you watch him come in here to the right side, he doesn't have it right there. But he keeps those legs driving, and then in just in the act of falling down, he picks up the first down. There at the Dallas 36, Pete throws left. Pass caught by Calvin Williams, who steps out of bounds. Larry Brown, the defender, but about a six-yard gain. Ricky Waters was saying yesterday that he calls this the Northeast version of the West Coast offense. And Ray Rhodes said, though, when he first came here that he knew that they had to build a running game because he said when you get in November and December and you're in the Eastern Division, you better not be trying to pass every down. That was always Bill Parcells' theory when he was with the Giants. Water straight ahead, and that surge gets him down near another first down. I tell you, the surge was by Ricky Waters, but it was also by his guard, Guy McIntyre. If you see McIntyre, he's going to be the left guard right here, and he gets a little push in there, too. You see him pull right there? Now, watch 62. You see him get the push, push, push? In fact, he put his guy, <laughs> that was Godfrey Miles, he puts him right on his back. Watch 62 pull. Boom! Whap! Drive the legs. And that's a deep cleaner. The first thing that hit the, that hit the ground was the back of his head. Charlie Garner, the speed back, gets the carry. Playing with a broken thumb doesn't get much as Darren Smith stacked up the play. You, know, you look at Guy McIntyre on uh, this first drive. He's been the MVP of this first drive. Gotten right. some great blocks. I know it on all those all those blocks that Ricky Waters was running. It's Guy McIntyre. You know he's been doing that for 12 years. Remember, for years he was with the 49ers, and then he went to the Green Bay Packers, and. Now with the Philadelphia Eagles, Ray Rhodes knew Guy McIntyre well. Ricky Waters knows Guy McIntyre well. Offensive lineman moved, and Leon Lett saw that movement and jumped. Leon Lett uh, said he talked to Charles Haley yesterday, and Charles told him 
Don't bull rush Both every play. Prior to the snap by the offense, number 80. Five yard penalty, it remains second Reggie down. Reggie Johnson. There's Ray Rhodes, the new head coach of the Eagles, his NFL career. Defensive coordinator with Green Bay. Long time with San Francisco, five Super Bowl bling rings, played with the Giants, both offense and defense. He says, if my players are going to get muddy, I'm going to get muddy with them. He'll be right down there with him. He's the kind of guy that is that kind of coach, and he always was that way as an assistant, too. Pete. Godfrey Miles knocked it down, had a chance at an interception. I don't I don't know that that uh, Rodney Pete saw Godfrey Miles. If you look at him here, he's going to be in a zone. Now he has this zone right here, so you're going to watch Godfrey Miles come out and get to a zone. You see he's not playing a man to man. You see he sees pass just drops drops right into his zone and in doing so in that zone that takes the slant away. Third and 13. Two tight ends. is caught by Calvin Williams right at the 25 yard line there in field goal range for Gary Anderson. Not nearly enough for a first down the defense for Dallas holds. They were concerned with the loss of Haley the loss of Jones the middle linebacker other injuries and depletions in the secondary they were really concerned about their defense the Cowboys yeah, and they and they should be and the, you know because they were beaten and exposed last week by the Redskins and they had a tough time against the run and they're going to have a tough time against the run today Anderson 42 yards out has got it and the Eagles take the lead three nothing First time they had the ball. It's a car that when seen, leaves an impression. When driven, creates a stir. When owned, lives up to its promise. And when judged, wins award after award after award after award. The new Ford Taurus. The success story that never ends. Making the dream come true. Do you dial 1-800-CALL-ATT to make a call with your calling card or to make a collect call? Yes. If you know the code, you know 1-800-CALL-ATT works with calling cards and for collect calls. It, it does, does both. both. Like a magic key that unlocks any phone anywhere. For card calls or collect calls, you'll always get AT&T's best deal if you know the code. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. The only number you need when you're away from home. That's your true choice. AT&T. I got it. I got it. Light, the silver bullet, it's shipped cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the Rockies! Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By AT&T, your true choice. And by IBM, solutions for a small planet. Historic Philadelphia and bags of ice we don't need. It is cold in the city of brotherly love. I would I would think uh, as cold as it is if you just put some water out there it would it would turn to ice wouldn't it. It certainly would. You know the other thing that I wonder today you know how the cowboy line always sweats and you know, we always check you know yeah. the back of their pants. I wonder if there if it ever gets to be a degrees like you get none degrees if you can still sweat. Well, if you do, it's going to it make would freeze. Run, running difficult <laughs> because you'd freeze. You're right. That's Captain Williams at the 10. Williams nailed at about the 28 by James Willis. A hit they celebrate so much you wonder where they're going I mean like they run off to the side I don't know what that's all about 
Now that used to be just part of playing. You just yeah. run down and make the tackle. That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? What's this all about? Nice pants. Dockers, flat front khakis. Need a break? Yeah! The Monopoly game is bigger, better, and back at McDonald's. Just order any of these McDonald's food favorites to get your game piece. Cruises, cars, cash, a million bucks. This is your best holiday break ever. I want you want People everywhere are winning big, playing the Monopoly game at McDonald's. Catherine Cox won a cruise for four on the Big Red Boat with air travel on United Airlines. And with millions of prizes rep, you could be next. So take a break and get a break at McDonald's. If you're up early enough to have the road to yourself, driving can actually be fun. My hot rod days are over, but I'm still more likely to pass than to be passed. Sometimes on the weekends, my husband and I just like to kind of take off and lose ourselves in the beautiful scenery. If he's driving, west. That way. You're, 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 you're. I, 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 That's very easy. Honey! Ford Contour, a world car for your world. Well equipped for just 15165 When a cop goes undercover to catch a serial killer. He's due to kill again tonight. She could become his next victim. New York Undercover, a brand new episode, Thursday. At Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, the Eagles leading the Cowboys 3-0. We're in the first quarter. 8.40 left to play in the first. And Deion Sanders in at wide receiver. For the Cowboys, he goes left. Michael Irvin comes right. And Mark McMillan goes out there with Deion Sanders. Emmett Smith gets a carry. Out to about the 32, tripped up by William Fuller. Well, and Deion Sanders is going off now. He has one play. The first play, he comes in. Everyone's watching, pointing. Deion's in there. Yeah. Who's going to take Deion? McMillan goes from left to right, the whole thing, and they run the ball up the middle. I wasn't watching him. Did, did he get a key block? No, he didn't get any block. He just kind of jogged about uh, one quarter speed off the line of scrimmage and stood and watched the run. Second and seven. That's Novacek, the move back. Emmett Smith, the ball carrier. Right now for a McDonald's game break, let's send you back to our studio and JB in Hollywood. A hey, Pat 49ers making an early statement. Jerry Rice actually dropped a touchdown pass on the previous play. Young goes to another weapon, Derek LaVille. Four-yard touchdown pass. San Fran up 7-0 early in the first. Back to Pat and John. Remember when those two teams first played, John? Carolina and San Francisco? in San Francisco's home Carolina won yep, and that was talk about a surprise there's no one that saw that one coming of course Steve Young wasn't the quarterback then that's very true Aikman to throw it now he's going to take off and Aikman will have the first down at the 40 Daniel Stubbs chased him down that's something that Troy Aikman hoped not to have to do yeah because he has he has two bad knees and he has two bad knees and two bad calves in fact uh, tomorrow he's going to have an MRI on on one of his knees he thought it would get better and it really didn't get better and he said that he's going to have an MRI tomorrow but you see this is just good coverage I mean he was trying to throw to the right he went through a couple of reads and there was nothing there and Troy Aikman ran that time about as far as he could. Yeah, he His said, legs wouldn't take him anymore now. He flat said, I can't run. Pass is caught by Michael Irvin at the Eagle 40. Bobby Taylor on the stop. That's going to be a matchup all day. Yeah, and Ray Rhodes wants Bobby Taylor to be physical with Michael Irvin because he knows that Michael Irvin is going to be physical with the rookie Bobby Taylor. That's a heck of a catch he made. I know, and he does make a heck of a catch. Now watch here, you know, this is the last play. Here's the one that Troy Aikman is running. 
and he's just trying to keep his knees on the ground, but he just looked like he just ran out yeah. of whatever he had in him. And down he goes. Something gave way. I think that run took a little out of yep. him, Pat. Yeah. And, and and that was just because he really is hurting. I mean, he's hurting coming into this game, and he was just trying to get out there to the handoff, and he couldn't reach out there. You're going to see him come out. He's trying to make a handoff to the left, and you see he just comes out there, and and he just tripped over his own guy. Yeah. Daryl Johnston, I think he tripped over. Well, who it was? It was one of one of his own men there, and he just went face down. Yeah, those knees are very fragile. Aikman back to throw it. Michael Irvin again. Kurt Govea made the stop on Irvin. Yeah, and this is when these these offensive linemen become very important because Troy Aikman today cannot take a lot of hits, and he needs these guys. He needs Eric Williams and Allen and Kennard and Nate Newton and Mark Tuane. He needs these guys not only to do a good job of pass protection, but also to get some good run blocking so they can hand to Emmett Smith and let him take control of this game. And no push. Coming up the middle. Third, nine and a half. Aikman. Incomplete. Flag on the play. Two flags on the play. That's going to be pass interference intended for Fleming. Here and Mark McMillan is the guy, and again, Ray Rhodes has been on his corners all this week. You got to be aggressive. Last week, they weren't aggressive against Seattle. He said, we'll even take a few flags, but you can't lay off and let them catch them. Pass interference by the defense, number 29, automatic first down. McMillan. But you do have to let him play. You're going to see Mark McMillan is back here. He's a corner that's off. And then he's coming back back and now he sees the ball thrown and he's going to jump it and they call that you see that right hand hit the receiver Fleming just before the ball got there and his body hit him as well. But that's tough. You know, I mean, you, know, you got a coach saying you got to be aggressive. You can't be soft. You can't let him catch in front of you. Then you're aggressive and here comes the flag. First they hand on to Smith and Evan Smith flashes down inside the 25 to the 23. Stopped by Greg Jackson. Now well, Deion Sanders was in for a, that play again. In fact, he's he's staying in on this play. And I would think that uh, Barry Switzer told us last night that he has about four or five plays. And you can see that on the first two plays he's been in there, he's been a decoy. And I would think if they have a play for him, that this would be the one that would be Deion Sanders' play, and he's lined up right down there. Aikman, Emmett Smith. Emmett. I don't know what Michael Irvin is doing, Pat, but he's running all the way back, yelling at his own team's bench. I don't know if he's saying, let's keep running it, let's keep Dion in there, let's take Dion out, but. Whatever he did, he ran like 20 yards back to his yeah. bench and was yelling at the sideline of the Cowboys. Emmett didn't look like Emmett last week. Uh, but he's, he feels a lot better last week than this week than he did last week. He sure does. Emmett again. Michael Irvin, he is really fired up. But the guy that made a nice block on that was the moose, Daryl Johnston. A beauty. That was kind of a counter lead. He started to the right and led to the left. And that Emmett is, Smith did a lot by himself. That is Emmett's 23rd touchdown, which is a new Cowboy record. 23rd touchdown of the year. He needs two to tie the record. So the Cowboys, good looking drive, and they lead the Eagles 7 to 3. There's no stealing your thunder. Mm -hmm. No, it can't.
We created Ford Windstar to be the only minivan with available all-speed traction control and four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. Reasons it has a wide stance for secure handling and also meets 1998 federal passenger car safety standards. We'd like to show you one more reason, but it's still a month or so away. Introducing the 1996 Ford Windstar, created for the most important people in the world. One man's near-death experience gives him a second chance at life. I got so much making up to do. Eric Roberts, Saved by the Light, world premiere Tuesday. You know, let's watch a couple blocks here. Here's Moose Johnston here, and here's Larry Allen. And let's just watch what they do on that touchdown run. You watch Larry Allen. He's number 73. What? Boom, right there. He comes across. That's a kick out. Then Moose Johnston is right inside. Then he gets a block. You see one more time, the kick out by the guard, the lead by the fullback, and then some good running right at the end. Just lower your shoulder and put it in the end zone. You see that block by Larry Allen? He just ran right through on William Thomas. Witherspoon on the return outside the 40 where the Eagles will take over. Dallas leading 7-3, 2.55 left to play in the first quarter. It is cold at Veterans Stadium. The Cowboys lead it. Every few years, the world gathers to witness an unparalleled sports spectacle. The Truckathlon. Yeah! And to compete, you have to have a Ford Ranger 4x4. Because you'll need it switch on four-wheel drive for truck long jump. It's four-wheel anti-lock brakes for truck discus. And it's whopping four-liter V6 for truck hurdles. The Ford Ranger 4x4. You can't win without one. Next event, Truck Pole Vault. Yes! Taco Bell presents <laughs> The Crunch Zone. Give us some respect! <laughs> Who delivered the crunch of the week? Was it Darnell Walker, <laughs> Gary Plummer, <laughs> or Mark Fields? <laughs> Find out right after this. The BLT. It's an American classic. But how can you make it more uh, interesting? Well, you can make it exotic. You can make it friendly. You can even make it finger food. But if you're Taco Bell, you make it a taco. Introducing the BLT Soft Taco and two other classic bacon tastes loaded with bacon. The Bacon Cheeseburger Burrito and the Chicken Club Burrito. The Taco Bell Sizzlin' Bacon Menu starting at 99 cents. But hurry, unlike most classics, they won't be around for long. Last week, Gary Plummer blasted Derek Holmes at the goal line. Plummer's hit forced a fumble and resulted in a TD. A monster hit in the Taco Bell Crunch Zone. Fox brings you the free TV event of the decade. Miller Lite presents Tyson vs. Mappets. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. Dallas seven, the Eagles three. First quarter, three wide receivers. That's Ricky Waters, the ball carrier. Cut down at about the 45. Got a couple. See, Art Monk is in there now, Pat, and he has 180 straight games with a catch, which is an NFL record. And, you know, he's still going in that streak. Now, last week, he didn't play. He didn't get on the field. He didn't catch a ball, but because he didn't play, 
that didn't affect the streak. But now since he's been on the field, the streak is in effect today. He might be involved pretty soon. Rodney Pete's going to take off this time. He'll get an eagle first down. You see what happened there? It looked like he faked the feet first, and, and, and Larry Brown was coming to hit him, and Larry Brown pulls up. Whereas Larry Brown is number 24 down here. Rodney Pete sees a big lane here. You see Leon Lettis going to the to the outside, Chad Hennings to the inside. He faked the feet first. Larry Brown pulled up, and then Rodney Pete went head first. And got an eagle first down. Who would have thought? Waters. Inside the Dallas 40, Tony Tolbert tripped him up. What a good game by Ricky Waters. Yeah, Ricky Waters was telling us yesterday that he talked to Walter Payton, and he said anytime Walter Payton talks to you about running, you have to listen to him. He said he told him to be a little more patient, that you don't have to get to that hole so quickly. You know, be patient, be calm, let some things develop in front of you. And on that play, he did. He waited a little, then, then boom, then make your burst. Waters again. Short of the first down, just across the 35, Darren Smith made the stop. You know, he said also, Ricky Waters, that it, in college, he lined up deep in the I formation. Then at San Francisco with the 49ers, the two back offense, and it had taken him a while to get used to being deeper. Right, and, and he's better deeper. I mean, yeah. he's better as a I formation type running back the way he's lined up right now than he was when he's offset behind a tackle and closer to the line of scrimmage. Third and short. <laughs> Pete fake chase by Tolbert incomplete. Tony Tolbert, another one playing injured. He has two bad knees, bad elbow. He has to have surgery on both knees. And he was the guy that made that play, though, Pat. You were right because it was a bootleg, and Tony Tolbert had to, had to keep the containment. Rodney Pete couldn't get outside of him. And then, and then he waited and waited, and then the coverage was there. But if you see, here's Tony Tolbert right there, and you see he's going he's gonna to keep the containment and then Rodney Pete didn't have anyone to throw to. And then when he did, he almost threw an interception. Fourth and two, and the Eagles are going to go for it. Now Rodney Pete calls a timeout. There's a guy who said to us yesterday, I thought I could still play. I wanted not to be a backup for the rest of my career. This looked like an opportunity in spite of the fact that Randall Cunningham had been so established here. And he's done a heck of a job. Well, he knew that the Eagles, you know, at the end of last season didn't do well. And, and there may be an opportunity. He said he knew coming here that there was going to be an opportunity. He wasn't sure when it was going to be. But he said, you know, at Dallas, uh, playing behind Troy Aikman, he felt that he had no opportunity whatsoever. And There's I Randall think he made Cunningham. a good judgment. There's Cunningham, yes. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Rodney Pete had a had a few problems and they put Randall Cunningham in and he played a couple of series and then uh, Ray Rhodes put Rodney Pete back in and they won the game. And Rodney Pete at that point let his unhappiness be known about being replaced. Yeah I think this is a good call here. I mean they're on yeah. the 35 yard line. It's really to me that's too close to to punt and it's too far for a field goal. And you're playing, you're playing the, you know, NFC champion. I mean, I mean, you have to, you have to go out. Water. I don't, don't think he made think it. He made it. Brock Marion tripped him up. Now that's as excited as we've seen Barry Switzer in a long time. That's as excited as we've seen a lot of these Cowboys in a long time. They got very excited on Emmett Smith's touchdown, and they got very excited on this fourth down play. Again, Guy McIntyre pull, and and Ricky Waters just has to break it to the outside, and Brock Marion just got him by the ankles where he couldn't get that extra flop for the first down. But I think that was a good move. I mean, I think I think that was a play that the Eagles had to do, and you take it and you run it and you give it to your best guy. First and ten, Dallas at their own 35. Smith. 
I'll tell you who's happy now, Pat, is Nate Newton. You know, Nate, Nate wanted more running last week. He wants more running today. He said he was on the airplane coming down here, and he just, he was sitting with Emmett Smith, and he said, hey, I just want to see you tote that rock all day. And he said if you don't feel. Mass by the defense, number 36. Five-yard penalty results in a first down. He said if, if you don't feel 100%, don't try to tote it. Right, but here's here's the deal. I mean, you get a, a thing like that again, Larry Allen pulling. Nate Newton started the hole. He made the right side of the hole. Larry Allen pulled around and made the left side of the hole. And, and that was bigger than a hole. I mean, that was about five holes those two guys made. It's a first down for Dallas right at midfield. As the first quarter ends with the Cowboys ahead 7 to 3. How does it feel to be Steve Young? It hurts. Give me my Advil. Nothing has shown me it works better on aching muscles or lasts longer. Advil is the one. Nasty game. Advanced medicine for pain. Oh, well, I'm the kind of light for any job you do. Any job that needs three hands, but you've got only two. Cause I'm the snake light from Black and Decker. I'll get around, around, around. I'm the snake light. Here's a gift the whole family will enjoy. Not just day after day, but year after year. The gift of Prime Star. The only satellite TV you can get without having to buy a dish. A service that offers up to 95 channels in digital picture and sound with no equipment to buy. Starting at about a dollar a day. To give this special holiday gift, call 1-800-PRIMESTAR and enjoy the holidays. Is it diet, Dr. Pepper, or regular? You have 10 seconds to decide. But if you can't tell the difference, don't worry. You probably can't taste the difference either. Even with all the time in the world. Discover the great taste of Diet Dr. Pepper. Enterprise, hi, I'm at the repair shop. I need to rent a car. Enterprise will arrange to pick you up. This is great. Drive you to our place and get you on your way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Tonight, Terry Bradshaw hosts a one-hour special on Fox. Find out which one of your favorite athletes will become part of sports history. Don't miss the Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year Award tonight at 7, 6 Central on Fox. Right now, we're at Cole Veterans Stadium at Philadelphia. Completed one quarter. The Cowboys on a touchdown run by Emmett Smith leading. Seven to three and Troy Aikman was on the sideline and he just came running into the huddle late Pat, and he came running into the huddle with Deion Sanders who's lined up down here in the left side and I would think this has to be a play that he's involved in. And oh. Smith and Emmett stripped up by Govea. Yeah I would say Emmett looks like a uh, hundred percent. Uh, and then and then he's reestablishing that line too. I think that I think when the when the Cowboys lost Ray Donaldson yep. that, that that was a bigger loss than anyone imagined because uh, he had really blossomed into a big part of this offensive line. Derek Kennard starting his second game is going to be a little adjustment for him in there. Second down. Smith again. To the 35. First down, stopped by Andy Harmon. But all you have to do is get in behind this left side. Look, here's Nate Newton, Mark Tuane, Jay Novacek here, Big Kennard. And watch just how they just take off and explode off the line. Watch when that ball snaps. Boom! I mean, they just knock guys right to their backs. And then, and then the first time that Emmett Smith is touched is about 10 yards yep. down the field. And the offensive line loves this. I mean, this is this is good hitting weather. This is good offensive line weather. They love this kind of stuff. Emmett Smith again. Left side again. Stopped by Rhett Hall. And this is the biggest offensive line in pro football. Yeah, and of course. You know, when they get a, a Derek Kennard in there, then that you know makes him a little bigger. 
And they can be a devastating weapon. And uh, there was one of the guys that they've just beaten on right there. That was Rhett Hall who made that last tackle. You can see this. Look at this. I remember years ago when you never wanted to admit that anyone was over 300 pounds. Now the Cowboys offensive line averages 323 pounds. We had a coach if you got anywhere near 300 you didn't know your exact weight. It was always about something. I just moved in this city, right? And I need a really flexible car. So I leased a Volkswagen Golf. Zero down, $1.99 a month. It's great. I sell cappuccino machines. Sometimes I need to move big things. Sometimes I have to move little things, but I always have to move. It's got dual airbags, daytime running lights, and everything fits into it. And it fits into everything. Hey! I have got to cut back on the caffeine. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Did you ever notice how many times a day you look at your watch? More women rely on a watch made by Citizen than any other timepiece. Because more women prefer a watch made by Citizen than any other timepiece on Earth. Citizen, how the world tells time. Uh huh, that's good, Gloria. When can FedEx deliver these boxes? Well, they said they could deliver them by 8 a.m. tomorrow. That's great. Or by 10.30 tomorrow. Uh huh. Or on Monday by 8, 10.30 or 3 or same day. Valentine's Day, Groundhog Day. On Saturday or even today. Oh, I forgot. By now, with same day 8 a.m. and 10.30 delivery, no one gives you more delivery options than FedEx. Hey, when can FedEx deliver those boxes? Gloria? Well, they could get it there by 8 a.m. or by... FedEx, absolutely, positively, anytime. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Drivers wanted by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. And by Red Lobster for the seafood lover in you. There's Rhett Hall, who was just injured on the last play over on the Eagles sideline, being checked out. That could be an accumulation of injuries, Pat. He'd been going to head up there with Nate Newton and Larry Allen and Derek Kennard. Aikman, as the Eagles' coverage is good again, he can't find anybody, has to take the ball and go straight ahead with it. And down he goes. And if you look at the coverage down here, you see they're going to play Bobby Taylor, the rookie, on Michael Irvin. Because Ray Rhodes said last time he played little guy on Michael Irvin, big guy. This time he's playing big guy on big guy. So you get that coverage along with this pressure. You see Fuller's coming in from the outside off of Eric Williams. And then when he goes to step up, the middle is collapsing on him. Three wide receivers, second and 11, third and 11, beg your pardon. Here's Aikman. Again, the pump fake. Novacek. Uh, it is Novacek. First down, Cowboys for McDonald's game break. Let's return again to JB in Hollywood. Pat in Houston, a courageous Chris Chandler playing with Mono. But look at this outstanding grab by Hayward Jeffers. Corner of the end zone that ties it up against Detroit at seven. Let's take it back to Pat and John. Back at Veteran Stadium. Novacek. He made a heck of a catch there because Daniel Stubbs was was hitting Troy Aikman just as he threw that ball and that took a little off it and, and, and Jay Novacek had to take that one off his shoelaces. Smith. Evan Smith. Out of bounds at the 13. Knocked out by Bobby Taylor. Boy did Daryl Johnston make a block again there. You talk about we've seen him where the guards lead. We've seen him where the fullback leads. But watch Daryl Johnston. He's going to be right here. Here's Emmett Smith is going to end up with the ball running it to his right. But watch the block right there. Boom. He's going to take his guy down right there. And look at the hole that they create. Again, a good block by Larry Allen. I think, and I said it you know, last week or over the weeks, that I think Larry Allen is not only the best guard in the National Football League, but right now I think he's the best offensive lineman in the National Football League. First and goal at the end. Emmett Smith airborne at the five. Govea. 
Red Hall has a sprained knee. They're going to take him in. And you see what they do, though? I mean, just watch Larry Allen again. Larry Allen starts off there with, with uh, uh, a big Eric Williams, and they just put their guy right in the back. And, and see, that's what Emmett Smith is jumping over. He's jumping over the guy that Larry Allen and Eric Williams knocked down. Second and goal at the five. Red Hall may or may not be back. Two tight ends. Kendall Watkins in motion. Aiken to Smith to the two. Romanowski and the rest of the Eagles knocking backwards. Look at little McMillan in there for 29 pounds. He weighs about 148 pounds. Five foot seven. <laughs> it's always a guy like that that yep. starts things. Oh, yeah. Remember, even at grammar school, it's always some little guy. You know, there's a big pile. He'll come in, boom, he'll punch yeah. the one and go out the other end. Like you say, Russell. As you've said often, he's been little all of his life. Yeah, right. And he's, he's started things all his life. He's one of those scrappers. If you're going to play pro football at about 5'7", 150 pounds, you better be a scrapper. Ron Stone. Lines up as the left offensive end. He reported he has to, of course, as Aikman calls a timeout and heads for the sideline. 7-3, Dallas lead. No one can save you now. Hey, bet we could. Fools, we will defeat you and take your Miller Lite. Not if we choose the weapon. Paper football, very clever. You kick off. <laughs> it's good. We are saved. When you've got the great taste of an ice cold Miller Lite, life is good. You are worthy opponents. Let us celebrate. I know a good sports bar around the corner. Life is good. <laughs> Red Lobster is fresh fish. Inspected with the highest standards and delivered overnight. Fresh. Never frozen, deliciously prepared to order. Fresh from the Gulf, snapper, blackened and spicy. Fresh from the Pacific, salmon, broiled to perfection. Fresh from the Atlantic, swordfish, hot from the grill. So come and enjoy, because Red Lobster is fresh fish. Saab gives you four. BMW gives you four. Volvo gives you four. But Volkswagen gives you a 10-year limited powertrain warranty, which means you'll still be covered when he's old enough to drive it. Scary, isn't it? On the road of life, there are passengers, and there are drivers. The Oilers found religion. Thank you for this touchdown, and please don't move us to Nashville. I hate country music. Catch a brand new What's So Funny tonight after Married with Children. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, Pat Summerall with John Madden. Emmett Smith on this drive has carried the ball seven times for 47 yards. Almost a seven-yard average. Third and goal at the two. And if he scores here, he's going to tie a record. Emmett is the deep back. Daryl Johnston in front of him. Two tight ends. Emmett Smith. Well, no record yet. Ronnie Dixon. Ronnie Dixon got that penetration on third down. We're talking about a, a record, Pat. This is the record that he's trying to tie. That's John Riggins. Remember those days? Oh boy. The Hogs and Do I. Here's Boniol to try. He's only missed one field goal all year long. As a matter of fact, he's missed more extra points than he has field goal. 16 consecutive. 17 in a row for Boniol. What a year he's had. Our AFLAC trivia question, Ray Rhodes is one of six current head coaches who is an assistant coach under Bill Walsh. Who, the question is, are the other five? Ray Rhodes is one of six. Who are the other five under Bill Walsh?
I just moved in this city, right? And I need a really flexible car. So I leased a Volkswagen Golf. Zero down, $1.99 a month. It's great. I sell cappuccino machines. Sometimes I need to move big things. Sometimes I have to move little things, but I always have to move. It's got dual airbags, daytime running lights, and everything fits into it. And it fits into everything. Hey! I have got to cut back on the caffeine. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. The human face, a landscape, difficult terrain where certain hairs grow taller, longer. Introducing a revolutionary three-stage shaving system, bra and flex integral. The first foil removes short hairs. An integrated cutter shaves longer hairs. And the second foil completes the job. New Flex Integral, for Braun's closest shave yet. Braun, the world's most recognized shave. It's surprising, but true. With Hewlett Packard's real-life imaging system, the print quality of HP's new DeskJet 600 series printers for the home is so good that it's sometimes hard to know the difference between what's real and what's just really well printed. HP Home Printers. Just what you had in mind. Yeah. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, field goal by Boniol puts the Cowboys ahead 10-3, and we have a very distinguished visitor in the booth with us, Mike Tyson. Boniol's kickoff by Witherspoon at about the 11. Found some room. Flag on the play. Witherspoon got it out to about the 37 yard line where the Eagles would have started. But usually this flag means they'll take it back toward the Eagle goal line. No. Beg your pardon. Face mask. Looks like against Dallas. Nope. I'm wrong again. He's wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike Tyson, you can't make that kind of adjustment that quickly, can you? Not, not at all. <laughs> hey, well, you, you were staying at the same hotel with the Cowboys last night, huh? Some of them come up to see you in your yeah, room? Yeah, we had, um, Emmett was up there, Dion was up there, Michael was up there. We, man, it was a ball. I had a great time. What did they have to say? How'd they feel about today's game? They felt good about it. They were confident. I told them, I told them they had a rough time, but they, they were sure they were going to prevail. Did they ask you about how you're going to do next Saturday? I, I let them know. I made it sure to them that I'm going to do well. <laughs> <laughs> they assure you that they, that they were going to do well. Yes. I tell you, those are those are great players when you're talking about those guys. I mean, they're not only some of the best Cowboys, but they're some of the best players in this league. That was a 15-yard face mask penalty, so the Eagles now have the ball in Dallas territory at their 49. Saxon moves up to the left. Garner and Waters... Pete in the direction of Charlie Garner. Mike, you follow football? Um, I follow the players. Are you a cowboy fan? I like players on the Cowboys. <laughs> How about, yeah, and then and then the thing you learn, you know, you know, traveling around is you always have to be the fan of the town that you're in. So you're you're here in Philadelphia, training in Philadelphia, going to fight in Philadelphia. You better be a Philadelphia fan for well, a while. Well, that's not true, but I love Ricky Waters. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess if you're you, you know, then you don't have to worry about it being a fan. But I do every everywhere I go, and they say who's going to win or who you're a fan. I always say that the, the home the, team. Yeah, yeah, the, the home team. team where I am. Pete's pass complete to Calvin Williams. Dixon Edwards knocked him out of bounds. Look at the heat on Rodney Pete. Yeah, this this is the thing that they have to get from that backside, you know. And you see Leon Lett getting there. He's the guy that you know has moved from tackle to defensive end, taking Charles Haley's place. And this Dallas defense is really going to miss, really going to miss Charles Haley. Well, they don't really have anybody else who can rush the passer. Well, unless unless Leon Lett, as a right defensive end, becomes that guy. That's Ricky Waters. Uh, he got a couple of yards, not much more. Hey, I'd Mike, is there anyone out here that you see that you think could be a boxer? I mean, could Ricky Waters be a heavyweight, you think? 
No, I don't. I don't know. I was discussing that with the guys in the room the other night. They were talking about um, High Tower, I believe it was, right? Yeah. And um, High Tower House Smith. I forgot the guy that that boxes um, occasionally. Right. It was, it was Too Tall Jones. That, remember when? Yeah, yeah. He was a he was a a defensive lineman for the Cowboys. Then he tried to become a boxer, and then he went he went back to football. That didn't work. Yeah, but I believe they have to do this, start that at a younger age. You know what I mean? I think you have to. You just um, get groomed into it. I don't, it's, I think it's very difficult to be at 34 and then you try to compete with guys that have been doing this for 10 years. Yeah, the guy was Highsmith, is who yeah, it was. Yeah, Highsmith. he was a running back. Yeah, Alonzo Highsmith. Alonzo Highsmith. Yeah. Alonzo Highsmith. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got out of football and then and he tried. No, I, I agree with you. I mean, whatever you are, you have to be that at the young age, and whether exactly. it be a, a fighter or a golfer. Or because a, a I personally, player. I wouldn't want to be in there. <laughs> I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be in there. With this You're guy. very wise. <laughs> no, but then they, you know, and then conversely, I mean, you, you know, would get out there, you could do that, but if any one of them got in where you get in, they wouldn't want to be there either. I think it would be disastrous, yeah. Third and eight. <laughs> Pete chased and hit by Tolbert. You wouldn't want to be Rodney Pete right there, yeah. would you? Because, yeah, but, you know, if you add that up, I mean, that's about uh, three, that's about 1,200 pound a guy. When all these guys get here to the quarterback back here, that's going to be about 1,200 pound a guy hitting them. Fall down. See, there's three, 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 and then boom, another 300 yeah. comes on. Well, I think basically um, this new rule they have by protecting the quarterback is ridiculous. Well, Mike, thank you for visiting with us, and good luck to you next week. It's great to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You just think they ought to let them hit them anytime they want to, huh? Excuse me? You just think they ought to let them hit them anytime they want oh, to? Oh, absolutely. Go <laughs> after them. <laughs> good luck to you. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Dr. Pepper presents... What a play! Just what the doctor ordered. Consecutive losses and an injury to league MVP Steve Young had the 49ers reeling. Stay tuned to see what San Fran ordered up to save their season. There's no stealing your thunder. It can't be contained. Fill me with a wonder. Cool me off like a rain. Backup quarterback Elvis Gerbeck stepped in for the injured Steve Young and stepped up the Niners' attack, connecting for five TD passes and season-saving wins over the Cowboys and Dolphins. Gerbeck looks downfield. He throws across the middle. Elvis the Gerbeck's end. strong arm and soft touch are just what the doctor ordered. In searching for a luxury performance sedan, Michael Young tested the Oldsmobile LSS against three of the fastest Japan has to offer. The Infiniti J30, Lexus ES300, and Teppanyaki chef Yasu Norimoto. And while his 240 horsepower LSS was no match for Yasu's speed, not only did Mr. Young fare much better against the imports, he had them for lunch. Will the LSS pass your test? Find out who's been naughty and who's been downright nasty. It isn't an affair, what is it? Melrose Place, a special Christmas episode, Monday. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Oldsmobile. Back at Veterans Stadium, the Cowboys have the ball at their own two-yard line. Coming out. This is where they have to go to their running game. You know, Troy Aikman has been sacked three times today already. In fact, all season, he had only been sacked 13 times before. This is Emmett Smith. And Emmett stays on his feet, gets a first down. And he almost maintained his balance and broke that one for a lot longer way. Again, that Aflac trivia question. Ray Rhodes, the coach here of the Philadelphia Eagles, is one of six current head coaches who was an assistant under Bill Walsh with the 49ers. Who are the other five? Rhodes, we mentioned, George Seifert, the current coach in San Francisco, Denny Green at Minnesota, Mike White, the head man at Oakland, Sam Weich in Tampa Bay, and Mike Holmgren in Green Bay. It's amazing how sick success gets you a lot of disciples. Breeds new head coaches, yeah. you know, and sometimes people will think 
Mike Shanahan at Denver but of course he was a 49er assistant but he wasn't a Bill Walsh assistant under George Seifert. I remember I remember when Ronnie Lott was playing for the 49ers and I was talking about the 49er assistants who would make good head coaches and maybe 10 years ago Ronnie Lott told me about Ray Rhodes he said I think the guy that would make the best head coach on this staff is Ray Rhodes. Well he's done a heck of a job here Deion Sanders in on offense. And Aikman looks in that direction and Sanders makes the catch. Deion Sanders will get the first down out of the 35. Yeah one thing when you're Deion Sanders and you're the fastest player in the National Football League they are going to respect your speed. And watch they're going to lay off because there's no way that you want to get up tight with him because if he starts to give you that move you see what Midland did he started he saw that and he said this is going to be a deep one and Dion just broke it off and then after he catches it he is a great open field runner Tell you what that was a pretty good pattern but he got hit in the back pretty hard. Well, you know, Mark McMillan was was really sold on the up. I mean, yeah, Dion, Dion did. He sold him that he was going up before he went out. There's Kevin yeah. Smith hitting the backfield and taken down by William Fuller. Now this has to work. See that that can't work. I mean, you can't put water in glasses in weather like this and not have it freeze. Well, that's in cups, but we knew that. Yeah, well, in cups, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you can't do that. That's why you don't have to put ice. That's what I see. Just put some water down there, and that'll make ice. In fact, I don't see any guys sweating today. I think no. if you look closely, I don't think that when it's this cold, you can sweat. Head for the sideline and get a bite of water. <laughs> Second, about 11. Flag on the play. I think Darrell Johnson started upfield too soon. Jay Novacek made the reception from Aikman. It was interesting that Mike Tyson says that you know that he's a, a fan of, of players more yeah. than teams and the ones that he met with last night in the hotel the Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin and Deion Sanders Deon, yeah. uh, that's a pretty good group of players those are players of. yeah you're right you know, mentioned Ricky Waters and you know and those guys all have they all have a lot of spirit I mean they all have a lot of you know fight in them a lot of energy a lot of you know, get out and go, get after it. Offsides by the defense, number 94. Five yard penalty, repeat second down. Well, you know, it's sort of like a fraternity in that uh, the athletes have their fraternity, the coaches have a fraternity, and it's a bond you have in common, really. And the other thing is, is you can respect what they do yeah. and know that you can't do it, but on the other side, you know, those guys know that they can't do what he does, too. And he's well aware that he couldn't do this. No. And he and, doesn't want to. And he wouldn't want to, and then none of those guys would want to do what he does. Here's Smith. Stumbled as he took the handoff from Aikman. And Andy Harmon made sure he stayed down. There's a good player. Andy Harmon is one of those guys that that has a motor that just goes yeah. all the time. I mean, he comes in and whether his team is up or down or or they're in the hunt or they're not out of the hunt. Number 91 in the white jersey plays as hard as hard can be played every play. He weighs 278. I don't know if he's that big or not, but whatever he weighs, whenever he comes, he brings it all with him. And he has a tough job today going against Larry Allen. And here's Aikman back to throw. Right through the hands of Kevin Williams. The play, play did well. He was open. Pass was there. And remember last week uh, where Troy Aikman got upset with Kevin Williams when he ran a wrong pattern. When he ran a wrong pattern, I think he may get a little upset with that one. That's his first incomplete pass, number eight. Uh, because he had you know good pass protection on that. He had a good pattern. Kevin Williams was open. He made a perfect throw and just went right through his hands. Although today. Is not a great day to be catching footballs. John Jets punt. Takes a cowboy bounce and still runs toward the Eagle goal line. Finally is down by Charlie Williams. This Friday coming up on Fox. 
Don't forget the X-Files. A child could bring peace to the planet or unleash hell on Earth. Judgment Day is here on the brand new X-Files, Friday at 9, 8 Central, right here on Fox. Eagles have the ball just outside their nine yard line. Dallas leading 10 3, 305 left to play in the first half. Charlie Garner's in there now at that halfback spot. Expect to get him as a change of pace. Well, he got the ball tripped up at about the 10 by Russell Maryland. You know, that's one thing. You look at Charlie Garner, you know, he's five foot nine, about 190 pounds, but everyone talks about this guy, and the first thing they say is he's a tough guy. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know he's quick and he's fast and he's all those things, but they say he's tough and he's not a little back that has to run outside or you just use on third down. Here the Eagles are coming off the goal line and giving the ball to him. Ricky Waters now in the backfield, second and nine. Pete back to throw. Left coming around the corner, hit him just as he got rid. And a flag on the play. Just as Pete let it go, Leon Lett with those big long arms took him down. Leon Lett was telling us last night that Charles Haley says, use your quickness, use your speed, use your moves. Don't just play in like you're a tackle. Don't do everything a bull rush. Pass illegally touched. An ineligible receiver on the offense, number 69. The big cat. The foul was lost him down. Brings goes up about 295. Down. And he can move. Right, and, and and that's the thing that Charles Haley was telling him. You know, you know, don't don't just use a bull rush. See, he starts there and then he gets his right hand and then he just comes right around there. And he made Rodney Pete throw that one to Harry Boatswain. Third and nine. The Eagles are two out of five. Third down situation. Pete back to throw. Pass is caught by Carpenter. And he gets him out of the hole. Good throw by Rodney Pete. A 20 yard pickup gets him a first down. And he sees Rob Carpenter out there. Carpenter starts out as a slot guy, makes a nice move there. Rodney Pete just throws it. Where, where the defense can't get to it. The only guy that can catch it is Rob Carpenter. And look what they're doing to Leon Lett here. They're going to say, if he's the guy that's going to be their pass rusher, we're going to put a double team on him. That's the two-minute warning. Dallas 10, Philadelphia 3. In shopping for a luxury performance sedan, Jay Kerness tested the Oldsmobile LSS against the fastest, most nimble machine on earth, Juma, the Cheetah. The LSS's sport suspension and traction control attacked the course, as did the Cheetah. But while he considered the LSS's precise handling quite impressive, there was one thing he failed to consider. Cheetahs are very sore losers. Will the LSS pass your test? Nice, kitty. Go away. Looks like we're set, okay? You've got your Happy Meal. Dad's got his Big Mac, okay? Let's eat lunch. Look at Daddy. Watch Daddy. Uh, uh okay, we gotta... Sorry. Yeah. Gotta keep the uh, french fries on the table. Mmm, mmm. Bye-bye, Dad. Come on. Mm. It's interesting. Okay, Jeff, Jeff, no, it's not. It's time to sit up and eat your lunch like a big boy. Looks like you got your hands full with that little tiger. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I remember going through the same thing with my two little guys. Before you know it, they're not so little anymore. They sure do grow up fast. Come on, Dad. We got a booth. Not too fast. Okay, pal. Not too fast. Yeah. Saturday, it's a Fox NFL special when the Green Bay Packers take on the New Orleans Saints. Don't miss the Red Hot Packers as they continue their march to the playoffs. Coverage begins at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific. The Saints, depending upon what happens today, also will remain alive in the playoff hunt. Seems hard to believe after the start they got off to. 
Both teams, two timeouts left. Eagle first down at their own 30. Dallas up 10 3. Pete back to throw it. Pass is caught by Rob Carpenter again. You know, the Cowboys took Leon Lett out. I'm not sure why. Uh, you know, Shante Carver's in there. And I would think now is if you have a pass rusher, you need your best pass rusher in there. You don't have to rest. Him. Waters steps out of bounds, stops the clock. How about that earring Rick, Ricky Waters had on yesterday? He had Which a, one? A, the, well, the big one, <laughs> two and a half carats. I mean, he had two and a half carat earring on one ear. Now they're bringing Leon Lett back in. That didn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm not a big guy. If you have a player that's a you know 15 million dollar player, I think you keep him in there every down. I don't think you put him in some kind of rotation. Especially when the guy's replacing him's got a broken hand. Here's Pete. Incomplete. And especially in the last two minutes, when in you know in a couple of minutes they're going to get a halftime rest anyway. But this defense is going to miss Charles Haley. I mean, Charles Haley was the best pass rusher in the league, and and he was the most disruptive. I mean, he 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 was not only good and would get there himself, but he would disrupt things that would help these other guys get there too. When he was healthy, he was devastating. Oh yeah, and and when when he wasn't healthy, he was, he was still better than most. He back to throw. Let coming around the corner got close again. Flag on the play. Oh boy. Pete's down. Yeah, that's Tony Tolbert. They're going to call that on. He hit Pete just right after he threw the ball. Tony Tolbert and Leon Lett were both coming on Pete as he threw that one. They're going to call that on Tony Tolbert. Well, now I'm all for protecting the quarterback, but when you get in midair. First and five, roughing the passer. By the defense, number 92. I don't, know how, I don't know how you put on the brakes. Automatic first down. Well, let's watch 92. That's who they're calling here, Tony Tolbert. And again, this this is a tough one. I mean, he, he gets double teamed, he gets chipped, and he's right there. I don't, I'm not sure about that How's one. How's he yeah. going to stop? No, you can't stop. But, you know, they're so, and I think they probably have to protect the quarterbacks, but that one is just too close. He didn't hit him with his helmet. He hit him with his chin. And, and, and he was he was right there to hit him. Yeah. And, and as you say, there's not you can't stop that. First and ten Eagles at the Dallas 40 screen pass coming to Waters. Waters is taken down from behind after a gain of about four by Bill Bates. You know, I'm, I, I don't like cheap shots or, or shot, you know, shots to the head or any of those things, but it still is football and you have to let him play and I think that was a, a bad call on that Tony Tolbert. was not a cheap shot. Pass is picked off by Larry Brown and he's gone. Touchdown Cowboys. Sixty two yards by Larry Brown with the interception. That was one of the things. Here's Larry Brown here, and he's going to jump that out. You see him looking back. He's looking at Rodney Pete, and there he is. He jumps it. He can either go to hit the receiver when he catches a ball, or he can go to an angle to jump in front of it. One Larry, Larry Brown gets the jump and jumps in front of it, and like you said, puts that left hand in there and intercepts it one-handed. That's what you always have to worry about that quarterback that sits back there and baits you a little. I think I think Larry Brown baited Rodney Pete into that throw and then went for the interception. Bonio for the extra point. Nova checks the holder. The extra point is good and Dallas leads 17 to 3. 62 yards by Larry Brown with the intercepted pass by Rodney Pete. Skill power tools make such quick work of all your projects. You'll find time to get out there and work on all kinds of things. Skill power tools. Think of all the things you can do. All set? You bet I am. Thanks to you. A few weeks ago with Jesse, I noticed something. Dandruff. So I told him about Head & Shoulders. Regular shampoos just rinse flakes away. Head & Shoulders helps prevent flakes from even forming. Because great hair can't have flakes. 
So the Cowboys lead the Eagles 17 to 3. And don't forget coming up at the half, the Dockers halftime with JB and Terry scores and highlights and choice cuts. That's all coming up at the half as the Cowboys prepare to kick off Chris Bonio and Derek Witherspoon deep for the Eagles. Isn't it interesting how momentum changes? The Cowboys have a penalty against them. The Eagles are moving and and maybe threw one too many times, throw an interception, and the Cowboys score. Witherspoon at the five. Cut down at the 25. Alundis Price. You know, on that, on that, on that uh, uh, touchdown, you're going to see a blitz here, then you're going to see the lineman drop out. This is what you call a zone blitz. You see both the defensive tackles drop out. See, they bring Woodson, and then, then they drop both of the tackles out. So now it looks like man, but you have zone. So Larry Brown is going to have some help deep, so now he can undercut that out. He can jump in front of it because he has a zone playing in behind him. Rocky Pete to Ricky Waters. Bill Bates on the stop. I'm sure Ricky Waters is saying we should have stayed with the run on that last drive. But I know earlier he was saying they should have went to run on third down instead of fourth down. Pete's throw is high, intended for Carpenter. Flag on the play. The in preliminary indication is against the Eagles. Well, I think there's two flags, Pat. There's one down in the area of holding, and then there's one downfield. So this could be one against the Eagles. That's probably offensive holding, and then there could be one against the defense, against the Cowboys. So there'll be an there offset. There were fouls by both teams on the play. Illegal hands to the face by the offense, number 62. There was also pass interference by the defense, number 25. The penalty's offset. Replay second down. Remember on this play here, the uh, the touchdown again. Watch Woodson number 28, Darren Woodson. He deflected that ball, so that took a little off it, and that helped Larry Brown get that interception. Second down, flag on the play. Pete will go through with it. Free play, pass complete. Carpenter made the reception. I think the guy that jumped off sides for the Cowboys, I think that was Shante Carver. Again, you wonder if the if the Cowboys are, you know, rotating these defensive linemen because they think that a Leon Lett needs a rest because again he'd been out he'd for been out. four weeks yeah. before last week. But you know, when you get the last two minutes, I still don't believe it. Well, Tony Tolbert's getting a rest, too. Play results in a first down. Herbin McCormick, McCormick's taking his place. Yeah, but I think if, if your best pass rusher now is Leon Lett, I think he has to be in there when you need your best pass rush. I think at some point you have to call off a rotation and say, let's get our best guys in there. First down, pass caught by Chris T. Jones and the Eagles think he's going to be a fine receiver as Rodney Pete calls a timeout with 18 seconds remaining before the half. Are you planning on serving heartburn for the holiday? But, Dad, you love peppers. I love sausage, too, but my stomach. Ah, wait till you see the appetizer. Pepsid AC acid controller? Take one little Pepsid AC before dinner, and you can stop heartburn before it even starts. Stop heartburn before it starts? You see, Dad, Pepsid AC controls acid for nine hours through the night so you can sleep. Oh. So uh, you think we have enough peppers? For the holidays, you can be heartburn-free with Pepsid AC. Next week on Fox NFL Sunday, it's a tough NFC ma East matchup as these Eagles take on the Cardinals. Another exciting regional action follows, and then at 4 Eastern, the Giants battle the Dallas Cowboys. It all begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check the local listings for the game and time in your area. Dallas 17, Philadelphia 3, second, and a yard with 18 seconds left. Flag on the play as Pete gets it to Calvin Williams. 
Darren Woodson dragged him down from behind, but a penalty down. Yeah, I think that's the Cowboys offside again. Yep. I think that time it was Tony Tolbert, but they're having some trouble with that snap count and whether Rodney Pete's giving them a hard count or changing up the count. The Cowboys are having offsides by the defense, number 92. The penalty is declined. Play results in a first down. Tony Tolbert jumped off sides. They should be used to Rodney Pete's cadence because he spent all of last year with him. Yeah, yeah, and you know, but sometimes it, you know, it gets so cold down there that you don't want to, if you stay in your stance too long, you're going to freeze in your stance, so you got to get the heck out of it. Pete, back to throw it. Pump fake. Going deep. Hits Fred Barnett. He's knocked out of bounds by Scott Case. I think that's the first time he's thrown to Fred Barnett. Here's Barnett right down here. You see, he just runs a little fade, and that's against a double zone, and he gets behind Larry Brown, and he gets in front of Case, and there's a hole there in that zone after you get beyond the short guy but in front of the deep guy, and that's exactly where Rodney Pete threw the ball to Fred Barnett. First and goal at the 10. Rodney Pete wants a timeout, gets it. Six seconds left. Uh, Anderson the field goal kicker has on the field already that's their last time out again stick with us at the half for the Dockers halftime report JB and Terry scores highlights and choice cuts that's coming up at the half six seconds left well, you know, had they gotten time out sooner, then they, they could have taken a shot. You know, if you have, like, more than 10 seconds, you can still take a shot in the end zone and then have time to attempt the field goal. I think when you get to six seconds, you know, if they didn't get their time out quickly enough, when they get to six seconds, I think they probably have to go for this field goal now. Tommy Hutton, the punter, is also the holder. Anderson drills it through. That's his second of the day from 27 yards. That one. And that gives the Eagles six. The Cowboys have 17. Well, and these fans are booing now because they think that, you know, it's tough to tough to get down there and tough to get close. And when you do get close, they don't want field goals. They want touchdowns. The Eagles have done a couple things. Remember earlier they 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 kicked a field goal. They had a fourth down situation. They went for it and they didn't make it. They didn't go for a shot down here. Well, as you said, if they had another timeout in six seconds, they could have taken a shot. Yeah, or had they gotten timeout sooner and then kept the one timeout, then they, you know, and, and or, I mean, had used the one timeout but had more time on the clock, they could throw it in the end zone because that would stop the clock. I mean, Pete was pretty good on yes, that drive, and by the end, he was five out of five. Well, sometimes after an interception, which he had against Larry Brown for the touchdown for Dallas, sometimes you get very cautious and don't put the ball up deep anymore. And he came right back. I yeah. think I think he was baited into that one because they made it look like a blitz. Darren Woodson came on a blitz, yeah. and then they baited him with what they call a zone blitz. And I don't think he read that. Bouncing kick to Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams is down at about the 37 yard line and that brings the first half to a conclusion 17 6 Dallas leads at the half at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia and it is cold and I would imagine as the sun goes further down it's going to get colder you wonder how these fans can can just sit out there in it I mean the players at least they can move around and they can hit and so on but these these fans, they have to be great fans, and they have to be tough fans. <laughs> and well-dressed. Yeah, but I mean, how do you come and just sit in it? You know, I mean, well, I mean, come and play in it is one thing, but come and sit in it, I don't know how you do that. You remember there were years when we came here when the Eagles and the Giants and the Redskins were always involved in the, the NFC division title race, and there'd be guys on top of the dugout, and colder than this, with no shirts on. 
Oh, yeah, but those guys were crazy. You know, if yeah, you talk well, about that, they'll probably <laughs> come out. There may be some of them in that yeah. snow there. I, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I mean, just the normal people. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, these people are normal. I mean, you see, I mean, there's there's families, there's men, there's women, there's children. There's, you know, everyone come out here. And I think maybe sometimes you just get in a position and you get frozen to that chair, maybe. That could be. I mean, some of those people don't look like they're moving, but you see this guy here. You have to have something on your head, I think. How about the one to his left? Well, the one to his left knows that you have to have something <laughs> on your head because <laughs> this is where heat escapes. Heat escapes out through the head. So if you have something on top of the head, then the heat can't escape. Do dark glasses help keep you warm, you think? Well, then that, that keeps your eyes. I mean, you don't get any wind in your eyes. That's true. <laughs> Look at these people, though. <laughs> They're enjoying it. <laughs> the halftime at Veterans Stadium. And the score is Dallas 17, the Philadelphia Eagles. Based on actual events, Daniel Brinkley's entire life is filled with hate. No! But a near-death experience. Daniel Brink dead 28 minutes. Gave him a second chance. I have hurt people all my life. I got so much making up to do. Eric Roberts stars in the story of a man who had to die. How you feeling? I feel alive. To learn how to live. Saved by the Light will premiere on the Fox Tuesday Night Movie. Terry Bradshaw hosts Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year tonight on Fox. Our plane leaves at 5.30. And it's 5.10, not to worry. Not worry? Avis has return valet service. They'll drive us right to the terminal. Avis return valet. First at the most airports across America. Another way the employee owners of Avis are making the future safer, faster, and better. I'll be there in five minutes. I'm not worried. To the future. If you're trying to decide how much power you need, how much speed? If you're trying to decide how many megabytes, or gigabytes, or even what a gigabyte is, and if you're trying to decide what's the right price to pay, there's only one decision to make. Computer City, where you'll get the Hewlett Packard Pavilion 5030 with an Intel 75 megahertz Pentium processor, eight megs of RAM and quad speed CD-ROM. Computer City, you can't make a wrong decision when you go to the right store. When we bought our Saturn SL, SC1, SL2, <laughs> I was so excited I couldn't sleep. It was the first time I left the dealership without an upset stomach. Oh, totally. They didn't try to steer me towards some $30,000 car. They don't have one. Best of all, they didn't, didn't treat me like an idiot. They did not ask me where my husband was. Hello, I'm the one buying the car. They even let our dog in the showroom. The 1996 Saturn SC1 with plenty of room for Fido. It's a great buying experience. Coach scores big laughs every weeknight at 6.30 on Fox Philadelphia. Dockers Halftime is brought to you by Dockers Khakis, proud makers of nice pants. All right, and welcome to the Dockers Halftime, along with play-by-play -play Terry Bradshaw. I'm James Brown. Let's get him caught up. Emmett Smith looking like Hannibal Lecter, and he goes out and mauls him, Terry. He does. He eats up a lot of yardage on this one, JB. As he goes around the left side, Emmett's 23rd touchdown rushing on the year, just one shy of tying the NFL record set by John Riggins of 24. Cowboys up by seven. Ball tipped by Derrick by the strong safety. Wilton, there it is. Picked off Larry Brown, 65 yard return for a touchdown. Cowboys plus a Bonio field goal. Cowboys 17 to 6 at the half. Smith 98 yards in the first half. Steve Young and the Niners not about to let Carolina do it again. Steve Young with over 200 yards passing into the first half. Derrick Lavelle, four yard touchdown out of the backfield. 49ers up by seven. Pump left. Safety gets out of position. Turn around. J.J. Stokes, where are you? End zone, 20-yard touchdown reception. 49ers all over Carolina, 21-3. Other scores, Chicago continuing to struggle on the road as they've done in December and January since 87, 16 straight losses. Boy, Morton Anderson, a 55-yarder, a 51-yarder, and they wouldn't let him try a 45 last week, leading at 9-0 over the Saints. Steve McNair thought he'd get some time today, but no, Chris Chandler at the helm. Chris Chandler, yes, but Scott Mitchell, Herman Moore, touchdown reception, number 13 on the year for Moore, number 27 for Mitchell, breaking Bobby Lane's club record of 26. Now Chandler back, had mononucleosis, got out of the bedroom, out of the hospital room, 
finds Jeffries, ties a game, but back comes Barry Sanders, touchdown run, going over to the right side, a nine-yard gallop. Barry Sanders, only the 10th player in NFL history, JB, to rush for over 10,000 yards. That is a sort of bedroom. Detroit looking for its fifth win in a row. Bills leading it by 11 late in the second. The Colts leading Jacksonville comfortably at halftime. And New England looking for its first sweep since 1988 over the Jets at 7. Terry is great in the kitchen. We'll show you his choice cuts when we come back. Get charged for the three TV events of the decade. Miller Lite presents Tyson Saturday Live on Fox. What is the technical term for a linebacker on skates? A Lindros. The NHL on Fox debuts January 20th. Can a love guru save the Bundys? Maybe this Dr. Richlu can make our marriage happier. The only doctor that could do that is Kevorkian. Find out on Married with Children tonight on Fox. Have you heard the news? <laughs> What's So Funny brings the week's most hilarious events. I want to be the President of the United States. Slammed into one fast-paced half hour. Hold on, you're driving like a bat out of Hades. Don't miss What's So Funny, a brand new episode tonight after Married with Children. And welcome to Hollywood for the Dockers Halftime. You know, although we're into the month of December and it's a little chilly out, the action is awfully hot. Once again, we present to you this week's selection of Choice Cuts. Right to the 10. Oh, he's going to throw one across the field. And it's caught over there. Coming up over the 20, 25, 30. Watch out for the 40. It's Smith. 50. He's all alone. Here he comes. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's a handoff to home to his smack. The ball is fumbled. 49ers pick it up. Put down the distance. Downfield to the 30, to the 40, to the 50. Woodall being chased. Can he get there? Get He's there. down to the 20. 10, 5. They can't catch him. Mario Bates breaks free. Stiff arms his way free down the sideline with Ty Lauder beat. Wow. And he gets behind him. And this will be a New Orleans touchdown. Oh, what a call. Eric Metcalf. away to the 40, to the 35. Herman gets free, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and he takes it in. It's Curtis Martin again, touchdown New England. Breaks a tackle of Hoskins at the 15-yard line, inside the 10, 5, Marcus Allen down to the one-yard line. Well, that should go long toward the end zone to Fritcher. Well, you know, Marcus Allen is truly an ageless wonder, so much so he's got Terry Bradshaw thinking he can go back and play. More Dockers halftime after this. You're watching the NFL on Fox. On the next home improvement. Something awful has happened. Oh, you saw your mom in the shower? Tim and Al's boss has gone to the big tool roundup. I'm really uncomfortable with this death thing. Which is why we have kids instead of pets, because they last long. Monday at 7 on Fox Philadelphia. <laughs> on the next episode of Seinfeld. You don't know my name, do you? It, it rhymes with a female body part. What is it? Mulva. Seinfeld at 7.30, Monday on Fox. Hey, if you're like me, you expect good service from the phone company. And that's why I got a problem with Bell Atlantic. Almost three billion bucks in profits, and they are dropping the ball on service. Annoying recordings instead of real people. Outside contractors who don't know a phone from a blender. Cutting the people who built the company. What's wrong with these guys? Bell Atlantic says it's the heart of communication. It sounds more like heartless to me. Your computer thinks in color. So how come everything you print comes out black and white? Black and white. 
the Epson Stylus color printers, starting at 349 for the kind of brilliant color that will let your ideas be heard. You've got to see it in Epson color. Concerned about the minivan you're driving? Concerned about safety and comfort? Consider the roomy Ford Windstar. With seven passenger seating, Windstar has the highest safety rating of all minivans. And best of all, it's now priced at just $258 a month for 24 months. Ford Windstar, years ahead in safety, now dollars ahead in value. Safety, comfort, and value. Ford is right for you. $258 a month Windstar at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Catch America's favorite family, The Simpsons, weeknights at 6 on Fox. The halftime score at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Dallas Cowboys 17, the Eagles 6. First half statistics, Cowboys 104 yards rushing to the Eagles 44. The Eagles hope to run it. Yeah, I think I think that's a big thing that the you know that if the Eagles are going to have a chance, they had to be able to do this. They had to be able to run and they had to be able to stop the run. So if there's any story in the first half was the Eagles, you know, weren't really able to run a lot and the Cowboys were able to run a lot. Then you look at the other thing, that one turnover. Yep. And of course, that turned into seven points. So you look at the first half and that's really what it was, kind of the running. And then you look at that interception. Now, here's what we call a zone dog. We're going to get the blitz here by Woodson. Both these tackles are going to drop out to form a zone. And now you're going to see Larry Brown, instead of playing man to man, he's going to have help behind him so he can jump this out right here and get the interception. So we always talk about a zone dog, and a zone is when you blitz, and now you drop out your tackles. And now because Larry Brown had that safety in behind him, was really playing a zone coverage, when he saw that out, he could take an interception angle rather than a tackle angle. That's the way you draw it up. This was in the first game. Rodney Pete, the quarterback, for Ricky Waters, Larry Brown, the interception, and uh, it looks like a replay, replay almost. Yeah, well, that one, uh, you know, in that one, what they did was they forced Rodney Pete to get out of the pocket yep. so he couldn't look to the middle or he couldn't look to the left, but he didn't see Larry Brown on that one, and he didn't see Larry Brown on the one today. <laughs> and it's 17 to 6. There's old Bill Bates, huh? Ready to go? Ready How to... many times have we covered a kickoff for the Cowboys with Bill Bates, the first man down? Yep. You know, and he's not the fastest, he's not the biggest, he's not the strongest, but he gets down there most of the time before the rest of them. Witherspoon takes Boniol's kick at the three. Out of the pack and down. David Lang but a good return for the Eagles they both need to win today to keep well the Cowboys would not be out of the playoff picture certainly if they lost but they need a win today to clinch now this is what Rodney Pete did in the first half he was sacked once hurried three times and knocked down six times his offensive line really didn't do a good job of pass protection. Ricky Water. And he is knocked out of bounds, pushed out of bounds by Deion Sanders. Yeah, but that was great defense, not necessarily by Deion Sanders, but all along the line. Because Ricky Waters tried to dip in about two times, and there was no place to dip into. No place the, to cut back. The, the Cowboys had, you'll see it right along the line here. They have the whole line. Because he looks, he looks, he and finally, he had to go outside. But look how those blue jerseys control the line of scrimmage. See, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. And finally, he had to go all the way out to the sideline to get to Dion. And here's Pete back to throw. And a holding penalty is going to be called against the Eagles on Tony Tolbert. Tolbert, of course, for Dallas, putting the heat on Pete, and they held him. You know, you were talking about Tony Tolbert and how he has two bad knees. Barry Switzer said at the end of the season he's going to have to have both knees operated on, but he's sure been active today. Cold weather, maybe. Maybe maybe that's something to, to do with it. I mean, you would think the opposite, but 
But I mean, he's been he's been making moves. He's been doing all kinds of pass rushes on Antone Davis. Holding by the offense number 78. Ten yard penalty. Repeat second down. Number 78 is Antone Davis, and again, he's the guy that is blocking Tony Tolbert. Tony Tolbert's been giving him trouble all day. See, Tolbert starts with a bull rush right there. And the thing that they saw in Antone Davis was that right arm. That that really wasn't that bad a deal. Second and 22, three wide receivers for Philadelphia. Heat back to throw it. Leon Lett and Chad Hemmings put the heat on him. The pass is caught by Reggie Johnson. He did a good job to get it upfield. And I don't know if Chad Hennings hurt himself or as he was just upset because he missed him. But Chad Hennings got in there and, and it looked like he in 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 reaching for him. And just watch Chad Hennings here. He's going to get he's going to get penetration and he just starts on the outside. He starts on a stunt and he just splits the guard and the tackle. He missed Pete the first time and he buried his helmet in him the second time. Three wide receivers again on third down. No blitz, four man rush, screen pass to Waters. Ricky Waters fights outside the 40, but the Eagles will have to punt. That brings up a fourth down. Yeah, and they're taking advantage of Leon Lett, you know, and they're because they know that they got a new guy there, that they know that they got a pass rusher there. When you start getting a big pass rush on that side, you throw a screen to his side. Tony Tolbert. Helping Leon Lett to his feet and then off the field. He's telling him to hurry up because one thing the Eagles do is they don't huddle up for their punt coverage. They just run out there and punt the ball. Deion Sanders deep along with Kevin Williams. And off this, of course, the Cowboys will have some tricks somewhere to get the ball to Deion Sanders. Hutton, left footed punter. They say get away from it. And the Eagles down at the Cowboy 30. The fact that Sanders was back there affects the punter as well as the whole punt return situation. They try to shy away from him. Life rarely imitates orange cones. Orange cones, however, can be made to imitate life. At Lexus, we've created a suspension system so advanced, it's smooth when you want it to be, unresponsive when you need it to be. The 1996 LS 400. Impossible. The laws of Lexus state otherwise. Sai, ho finito la mia tesi di laurea. Bravo, nonno. Ho fatto tutte le mie ricerche. Si chiama la Indiana University. La biblioteca della facoltà. L'IBM è l'arte digitalizzata. Così con internet avrò accesso alla musica quando vuoi. Eh sì, sono proprio quei tempi questi. Tonight, 17,000 hockey fans have been taken hostage, but only one of them knows it. Do not try any kind of rescue. Do you understand me? I'll get my daughter. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Sudden Death, Rated R. Starts Friday, December 22nd. We at Dr. Pepper never thought anyone would duplicate our one-of-a-kind taste. But someone finally did. We did. Discover what millions already have, the great taste of Diet Dr. Pepper. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Lexus Luxury Automobiles, the result of a relentless pursuit of perfection. By EA Sports, makers of NHL 96. If it's in the game, it's in the game. And by Direct TV, it's personalized TV. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Dallas 17, the Eagles 6, third quarter. With 12.50 left to play in the third. First time the Cowboys have had the ball in the second half. And Emmett Smith gets the carry. Wrapped up. By Kevin Johnson. Who had Emmett around the neck you know when you play in the pits you know those those linemen that play in the pit this is what they do to your head after when you go on the sideline I mean steam's coming off and you know you always said you have to play you have to have your head on straight yeah 
You know, you have to have your head together. Well, That's they what they do to keep your head on straight. They better put it back straight. <laughs> well, they're trying, but they got to make it crooked on one side, crooked on the other side, and then it makes straight. Second and nine. Aikman. No, but check incomplete. Emmett Smith had the big first half. Well, I think eventually they're going to have to get back to that, too, you know, because that really establishes a lot of things. You can see he made 15 yards to the left, 61 yards in the middle behind, you know, those two big guards in center, 24 yards to the right. But you get in there behind big Derek, Derek Kennard and Nate Newton and Larry Allen, the way they were blocking in the first half, I think they should get back to that. Third and nine. Three wide receivers. The Eagles showed blitz and then backed out of it. And Aikman for Corey Fleming incomplete. He tripped as he made the dive for the reception. Three and out. Good show by the Eagle defense. And they, you know the the thing that knits that together for the Cowboys is always when they do run Emmett Smith. When you know they have a big offensive line, they have a great offensive line, they have a great running back. And when they use that to get some first downs, then they can go play pass and then they can throw. But if they just go throw, 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 three and out, or if they don't have success on first down, then they get to these situations. Jet. Punch to Carpenter, waves fair catch, makes it. Eagles take over at their own 25, 24 yard line. That could have been caught. To Fleming. You think you got a game? Mine's a stick toting, rocket launching, freezer burning, glass cleaning, blurry little twine, denting, boardy, crunch, 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 top shelf with the peanut butter, stand em up, muck, muck, muckin', ice lounging, drop passing, puck extracting, blue line bouncing, bring it on, crash dummy, hard to keep up with, Carice Monkey kind of game. You want some of that? Bring your best game. NHL 96, the ultimate judge on any of these home arenas. If it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. Some of your best ideas happen up here with us. The most affordable Lexus now comes with a moonroof. Six disc CD auto changer. Leather trimmed seats. And chrome wheels worthy of a Lexus. And with a savings of up to $2,000, you'll laugh all the way to the bank. The ES300 Luxury Value Package. Available while they last at your Lexus dealer. A naked weed whacker. An arsonist who works for candy bars. Or Chance Harper. It's going to be a very strange Christmas. A brand new Strange Lock Friday. Back in Philadelphia, Veterans Stadium. Pat Summerall with John Madden. Will you marry me? Number eight. Was that Troy Aikman asking or someone asking Troy Aikman? I think uh, it was somebody asking the Troy latter. Aikman. You think the latter? <laughs> I think the latter, yeah. Well, you know, the Cowboys need to win. I mean, that's that's the, the thing that, that, that I think, you know, when they lost to the 49ers, it... A lot of players use the word funk. They got in yep. a funk and still think, in a funk. I think, yeah, and I think there was still a funk. I think they were in a funk last week against the Redskins, and I think they came in to play the Cowboys when they got here last night. I think they were still in that same funk, if that is the word. Second and seven. That's a word. Pass deflected, I believe, by Leon Lett, who got his long arms up. You know, Leon Lett's playing pretty well. Yes, and I think he may he may find that his position is is as a defensive end because you know he's a he's a big guy, he's a tall guy, and you know he can run those inside stunts because he's been a tackle. 
and he has great reactions on stuff like that on knocking balls down he's always had a feel for that a feel for knocking the thrown ball down third and seven uh, feet back to throw Takes the hit, stays on his feet, gets a couple more yards. Tough catch by Art Monk as he keeps his record alive. 181 consecutive games Art Monk has caught a pass in. Is that amazing? Look at that. Rodney Pete was talking about that yesterday. He said, Art Monk's going to play. And he said, that's going to put pressure on me. He said, i got to get the ball to Art Monk. But you know what you like about that one? He earned that one. That wasn't just some little screen pass or some short little thing. That was a tough catch, and that's a tough run by Ricky Waters that didn't get much. And you saw Brock Marion again. He has that broken thumb, and he wasn't able to, you know, get his arms around Art Monk. And Brock Marion's having a little problem back there tackling because of that thumb. But the Cowboys are a beat-up team. Yeah, they are. You know, and, and, you know, I mean, they're already... Lost Charles Haley, who had you know surgery this week. They lost Ray Donaldson, their center. Lost Robert Jones, their middle linebacker. Don't forget Kevin Smith. Here's Pete back to throw it. Dumps it to Ricky Water. Water makes the catch and gets an eagle first down at the Cowboy 46-yard line. Yeah, Ricky Waters found that same area that uh, Henry Ellard found last week and that Jerry Rice found. You're going to see him come in here and just run right across. You come to the outside, and that crossing area right in the middle, if there's any spot that has been vulnerable in this Cowboy defense all year, it's been that crossing middle area. There's just nobody there. First down, Eagle. Water. Taken down by Leon Lett. That time Ricky Waters didn't have patience that he was saying that Walter Payton taught him about but he did find something in there because he was being led by Guy McIntyre his guard and he just left him Guy McIntyre went to the outside watch Guy McIntyre the left guard he'll go out here and Ricky Waters cuts inside of him you see 62 going out there he's supposed to follow him and I think had he followed Guy McIntyre he would have had a better play. Second down he wheels it. Incomplete. Intended for Calvin Williams. Deion Sanders, the defender. They don't attack that side much. And Deion never, never puts those things, those uh, gloves. You know, he never puts that that wrap around him. He never closes his gloves. You ever notice that? The, the Velcro. The Velcro. Yeah, 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 yeah. The flaps always open. You're not going to make a living throwing anything on Deion Sanders anyway. Third and five. The Eagles at the Cowboy 40. Rocky Pete back to throw. Here comes the pressure from Chad Hennings. Again, Chad Hennings is having success with that stunt, Pat, where the, where the end comes to the inside and the tackle goes to the outside. And you'll see Chad Hennings here where he, he starts to the outside and Leon Ladd is going to come underneath him. He just starts to the outside, see, and then Lett becomes the inside rusher, and Chad Hennings becomes the outside rusher. Kevin Williams back for Hutton's punt. Flag on the play. Williams going to let it bounce. And it bounces dead at about the 19, but there's a penalty marker on the play. The referees, Ed Hockley, and it's so cold out that the referees have a, a tough time with their microphones. Listen to this. He's not, he's not even going to talk yet, but when, when he talks, they sound funny today. Yeah. I think his voice is frozen, or maybe his mic's frozen. And maybe his earmuffs are affected. Offside it. by the defensive <laughs> nose guard. The penalty is declined. Philadelphia keeps the ball, first down. The defensive nose guard, there's no such thing as an offensive <laughs> nose guard. No, I don't think so. It is where the lofty atmosphere of most luxury cars is left behind. It is the American-built flagship of Toyota, Avalon. 
Combining refined performance, comfort, and Toyota's unparalleled reputation for quality, Avalon delivers the greatest luxury of all, peace of mind. Avalon, experience the tranquility. Looks like we're set, okay? You've got your Happy Meal. Dad's got his Big Mac, okay? Let's eat lunch. Look at Daddy. Watch Daddy. Uh, uh okay, we gotta... Sorry. Huh? Gotta keep the uh, french fries on the table. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Bye-bye, Daddy. Come on. Come on. Mm. It's interesting. Jeff, Jeff, no, it's not. It's time to sit up and eat your lunch like a big boy. Looks like you got your hands full with that little tiger. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I remember going through the same thing with my two little guys. Before you know it, they're not so little anymore. They sure do grow up fast. Come on, Dad. We got a booth. Not too fast. Okay, pal. Not too fast. Yeah. After his near-death experience, Danny and Brinkley came back with the power to predict the future and to change it. Eric Roberts stars in a world premiere movie based on actual events, Saved by the Light, on the Fox Tuesday Night Movie. First down, Dallas at their own 19. They lead 17-6. Eggman back to Emmett Smith. Yeah. Emmett has no place to go. The Eagles have done a good job or did a good job adjusting to whatever plays the Cowboys were running with Emmett Smith in the first half. William Fuller did a good job on that one, Pat. He was he played uh, Moose Johnston like a uh, bullfighter did. You know, Johnston went out there to, to block Fuller, and Fuller just jumped right around him and made the tackle. I mean, that was some kind of move. But watch, watch, watch Fuller there. He's going to come to the outside. Watch when Johnston goes to block him. See, he just pushed him right to the side yep. and then made that tackle. Lost a yard. Aikman to throw it. Just does get rid of it with a man wrapped around his feet. There's a flag on the play. And I think they're calling it in the area of Mark McMillan out here. It was it was after the play and it was downfield on this side. And they are going to call it on Mark McMillan. Usually the guy who argues first argues the most and gets the closest to the officials is the guy they call it on. Yep. In this case he's the smallest. No, but he's the scrappiest and he's the closest to the officials and he's arguing the most so it has to be twenty nine. Pass interference by the defense, number 21, automatic first down. He doesn't, he doesn't think so. No, well, they said, you see, here it is right there. Yeah. In fact, that was against Taylor. It wasn't against Mark McMillan. But the guy threw it over here on Mark McMillan's side. But it was against Bobby Taylor, and it was pass interference. And they had told him to be physical. 15 rushes on first down for Dallas. That's a change. And here's Aikman to throw it on first down. Deep to Dion. Incomplete. Greg Jackson made the stop. And right now, let's return you one more time to Hollywood for McDonald's game break and JB, James Brown. Hey, Pat, take a look at Ironhead Hayward with his first receiving touchdown of the season. Jim Morris Saints had one for their last five games. They're in trouble right now, trailing by 16 and the third. Back to Pat and John. Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Second down and 10, Dallas at their own 20. They tried to throw a post pattern on that last one to Deion Sanders, and Greg Jackson just sat there and waited for it. That didn't fool anyone. And it's Smith hit right at the line of scrimmage. That didn't fool anyone. Andy Harmon. Well, we talked about Andy Harmon earlier, you know, and playing the run and playing the run so well and playing all day. And he does that. I mean, they had some problems earlier, but you see Andy Harmon here, and they're backed off the line a little. And you see what he did to Derek Kennard? Derek Kennard weighs 350 pounds, 
Kennard goes out to block him, and Andy Harmon just took him with one hand and just threw him right beyond him. I mean, when you can jack up 350 pounds, you can jack up some weight. Third, and Aikman back to throw it. Pass incomplete. And again, the Cowboys are hoping for a penalty. No flags this time, however. Corey Fleming, the intended receiver. <laughs> Mark McMillan, he had that coverage all the way. He just, he just ran with the coverage, ran, ran off the sideline. He's still going. But you know, you have to be excited. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. care what anyone says. This is a tough game, and this is an emotional game, and you have to do whatever you can out there. Now I mean, that's interference. Well, he did get his hand in there. But that's the thing that helps you know where they're going. You just don't want it to be blatant, but they all do it. Jet. The punch sails to Carpenter, who is taken down immediately by Charlie Williams. And a flag on the play. Jeez, that was a late flag that came after everything was down and threw that one. That was a late flag. Going to be against Dallas, according to the Eagles. Let's see what it is, according to Ed Hockley. It was a funny-looking flag. Yeah. I mean, the play was down; it was over. Then he came in and just threw the yellow flag down. Personal it had, foul. It had to be something that happened after the play when they were down there. How come the referee is the only guy with earmuffs? Personal foul by the kicking team, number 87. Late hit. 15 yard penalty first down that's Billy Davis call for the late hit and the penalty moves the Eagles into Dallas territory the Cowboys still leading 17 six with six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. College sports on direct TV. Takes me back to my days at digging in on the goal line, making my moves from the top of the key. Cause I get hundreds of college football and basketball games I can't get on cable. Even my alma mater. Ah, the long hours of practice, the uniforms, the camaraderie. I was the best horn player in the band. For exclusive college basketball action you can't find anywhere else, call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Because someday you'll get that big promotion that moves you to Seattle. Someday kids will be in the picture. And someday you'll get away to write the great American novel. It'll happen. That's why we've spent 28 years constantly improving the Corolla. So wherever life takes you, we'll be there. The newly restyled Toyota Corolla. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Marge and Homer declare war. I'm drawing a line down the center of the house. You stay on your side and I'll stay on my side. Ow! On The Simpsons tonight. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. Here's the penalty again. 87 is Williams. Billy Davis is going to come in here and just right there. See that elbow? He just threw the elbow there. Then the official comes in and he couldn't get the flag out of his pants. This is Ricky Water. <laughs> Running right. And again, this is the Northeast version. Here we go again. The penalty. Okay, now watch the official why it was so late. You see, Billy Davis did it early, but the official didn't come in and throw it until seconds later. But the, the flag was buried so far in his pants that he couldn't find it. And by the time he could finally find the flag, you thought, what the heck? How come it's so late? Second and two. Water. First down. Inside. Fumble. But late. He was down. Yeah, they're all pointing to the ground, pointing to the ground. Again, a good block by Guy McIntyre. 
One thing about Ricky Waters, he's been with Guy McIntyre. We talked about that before, and he really follows him and, and, and goes well off his block. Watch Guy, Guy McIntyre here, C62, right there. Boom, when he makes contact there, that is just enough for Ricky Waters to cut off from. First and ten, Eagle. Waters. Going to bring it back this way. Flag on the play already. And Waters has that ability. Another flag on the play. You know, when a guy runs that long for that many yards and you see flags in their play, they're usually against his team for stuff like clips and stuff. The guy, that, the first guy that really played it well was Leon Lett. See Russell Maryland down there. He might have been one of the players who was clipped. Yeah, I mean, anytime you start running like that, then it starts to look like a punt or kickoff return. We see so many penalties on that. You know that open field blocking yeah. and, and angles and you can't block below the waist or if a guy turns you can't block from behind. It's rare you see a play like that turned into much. I recall one by Marcus Allen in the Super Bowl. Yep, we did that. Yep. In Tampa. The Redskins and the Raiders. But the first guy that I mean the guy that played that well was Leon Lett. Only one foul on the play, tripping by the offense number 22. 10 yard penalty repeat first down call against James Saxon Russell Maryland is the injured cowboy and they're still looking at Russell he's had a bad knee you know here's here's a guy who really makes the play though because it was supposed to be a run and you see Leon let hold the hole there yep. there's no place for him to run yep. Leon let doesn't doesn't let him get to the outside Brown gets up, then you're going to see Russell Maryland get it right there. All that work, and you get a penalty and go backwards. They're still in the process of getting Russell Maryland off the field. Yep. And they are running out of tackles. Leon Lett probably and did move back inside, and Shante Carver. We'll play defensive end. Yeah, and that's that's a loss right there. I mean, Russell Maryland was playing very well inside, and I thought Leon Lett was playing well and feel comfortable outside. First and 20. Pass is out to Calvin Williams. Not much there. Out of bounds. Trying to set up a quick screen to the flanker. Darren Woodson read it. And the fans booth, they don't like that. They don't like those passes that go for minus yardage. Who does? Well, if, if, if it's on first down, it's not that bad. I mean, the real bad ones are when you have third down and third and five to me and you throw a three yard pass. Yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Second and 21. Here's Rodney Pete. Pressure up the middle. He takes off. Has heard it out of bounds. Stops the clock. Out of bounds at about the 34. Again, Rodney Pete comes back. He's going to get. He's going to get a rush, but there's no one open right now. You see, he's looking, looking. He's ready to throw, and he doesn't have anyone open. And then when he did that, he looked at his left, and who did he see? But he saw Bill Bates coming on a yeah. blitz. Yeah. So when he looked back there to see if he had anything to his left, he saw number 40. So he said, "I now I better get the heck out of here," and that's what forced him to run to the right. Third and 12, three wide receivers. Here's Pete. Good protection this time, and he gets the ball up to Calvin Williams. Not enough for a first down, but maybe close enough for an Anderson field goal shot. Boy, did Leon let give uh, Rodney Pete a shot as he threw that one. Can Leon let move to this tackle? That's Russell Maryland's tackle. So his normal tackle is right tackle, and he moved. Do you see that Ooh, shot that yeah. he gives him there? And when you're that big, I mean, when you weigh, you know, like like Leon Lett weighs 300 pounds, and he's six foot six, and you bring all that down, that's going to make the other guy go backwards. You know, at six six and 300, he looks lean. out by the Eagles they'll have two left now Sony maximum television presents sounds of the game with John Madden hey, hey. 
If you want to really feel the game, you got to hear what's going on down here. The booms, the bams. Just listen. Oh, let's go, baby. Find out if John Randall's pregame preparation oh, helps baby. after this. This is going to hurt. Your favorite videos and TV shows come to you in dynamic surround sound. But if you don't have the right stuff, you're not hearing what you pay for. Fortunately, all you need are Sony maximum speakers for instant surround sound. And add a Sony Trinitron TV for maximum visual impact. Maximum television, only from Sony. Now, only from Blockbuster Video, get up to 15 free rentals when you buy any Sony maximum TV product. Hey, if you're not hearing it all, you're not getting the full impact. Whoa! Wow! Light, the silver bullet, it shipped cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the Rockies! The Oilers found religion. Thank you for this touchdown, and please don't move us to Nashville. I hate country music. Catch a brand new What's So Funny tonight after Married with Children. 17-6, Dallas, fourth down, Eagles. At the Dallas 33-yard line. Or about the 30, I beg yeah, your pardon. Now, if they were to kick a field goal, it would be a 47-yard field goal. Gary Anderson's longest this year is 43. And he'd be against the win. And so, you know, that's probably something they decide before the game. You know, I mean, they kick on both ends of the field and decide his distance, you know, going this way. And... I'm sure that they, you know, that they knew that this isn't within his distance because it didn't look like the Eagles even considered that. But they don't have this this situation straightened out. They come up with a play and then they took time out and then they put it back in and then they had a, another guy run on the field and now they finally got it straightened out. They need eight yards for the first. The Pete back to throw it. They ducks under Leon Lett. Rodney Pete takes off and he's got the first down. They had him and he got away. I think sometimes the guys are, are getting so interested in stripping the ball that they forget to tackle it. When you rush the passer, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that he doesn't duck under you and you want to make sure that you get the tackle. You see what Leon Lett did, he went up in the air and they're right there, you know, they tried for the strip and maybe if they just got the tackle. First down, Eagles. They go to two tight ends. They give the ball to Ricky Waters. And Ricky gets about three. That was a big play by Rodney Pete. I mean, he knew exactly how many yards he needed. He saw a lane, and there was no one in that lane, and he just ran and put his head down and got that first down. Under three minutes left now in the third quarter. The Cowboys 17, the Eagles 6. Second. They need about five. This is where they need a big play from Ricky Waters down in this area. If not this down, in one of these down. He gets the carry. He's into the secondary. It'll be first and goal, Eagles. Brock Marion came up to make the stop. Or maybe they need two big plays when they get down in this area from Ricky Waters. That was one. I mean, if you got a great player, you're giving them a lot of money. These are the situations. These are the downs. These are when you need him. This is when you feed him. This is when he has to make plays. And he did a good job, Ricky Waters did, of setting up a block on Chad Henning by Guy McIntyre again. Inside the five, about the three. Yeah, I agree with this. I think you just keep feeding the ball to Ricky Waters. Because he's a guy, I mean, he is a guy that wants to be the guy. And, and if I you want to be the guy, you got to want a ball. And don't you think he gets better the more he gets it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I, I think the tougher the situation, I think the more competitive the situation, the better he gets. Second and goal. I mean, big players make big plays in big games. Yeah, at the three, three tight ends. Waters. Not 
going to give it to him. They didn't signal touchdown. Nope. Like about two thirds of a yard out. Yep. You see that right foot? He got the right foot marker. Again, Guy McIntyre got knocked off. Guy McIntyre was going to pull from the offside and be his lead blocker. The Cowboys' penetration knocked him off and he didn't get there. Now you see the ball cross the plane, but it's when your knee goes down where the ball is. Third and goal at the one foot line. Waters. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The Eagles move closer. 17 12. Let's see if they go for two. They are going for two. Look at that guy. He's pumped up. I'd put him in there. <laughs> Hand him the ball. He'd get you two. One thing about this crowd, they hate the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, yeah. He wasn't going to be denied. Everyone wants to get low. Offense, get low. Defense, get low. Running back, get low. Get behind those shoulder pads. There was no doubt that that one was a touchdown. This will be a two-point effort. That would make it 17-14 if they are successful. Keep back to throw it. They got the two. Fred Barnett. There are those guys. There's those guys yeah, you were talking guys. about. And we knew we'd find. We're talking about them at halftime. They have to be there. Maybe they were waiting for an Eagles to, to score a touchdown and a two-point play. Now they're within a field goal to tie him. 17-14. Here's a two-point attempt. Good pass protection. You see Rodney Pete had a good lane to find Fred Barnett coming across on that on that crossing pattern. And see who was covering him? Yep. Yep. They beat Deion Sanders. You know, sometimes you think that you know everyone wants to stay away from Deion. I think the key is you stay away from Deion Sanders deep. But I don't know that you stay away from Deion Sanders on crossing patterns. Deep and outside, stay away. That was pretty good. Fred Barnett running that crossing pattern on Deion Sanders. But again, the protection was excellent that gave Rodney Pete that lane to throw the ball into Fred Barnett. Here it is. We'll see up here. Here's going to be the crossing pattern. And we're going to see the lane is going to be to the right. You see free, uh, Fred Barnett just starts across. Deion Sanders really wasn't picked. I mean, the official was there, but he yep. kind of slowed up a little on that. Kevin Williams. Still going midfield and in Eagle territory at the 47. Dallas takes over in good shape. Yeah, and that kick didn't go very far, and that explains why they wouldn't even think of going for a field goal when they were on the 30-yard line. The Philadelphia scoring drive, 11 plays, 46 yards. Ricky Waters scored it on a one-yard run. He carried it seven times in that drive. And the Cowboys, he, first and ten. And Ricky Waters is the kind of guy that thrives on that. I mean, he always has it. You know, feed me the ball, feed me the ball, give me the ball. He wants a major role. So does this guy, Emmett Smith. And that's what I think the Cowboys have to do now, Pat, is come come right back here with a heavy dose, a heavy dose of Emmett Smith. Well, they'll have that dose coming in the other direction. Watch that. That's a double team. And when you get Derek Kennard and you get Larry Allen on you, you're going to end up down. Right where he is. I mean, Larry Allen has the has a defensive attitude. I mean, he's one of those guys that's a tough guy, and he plays offensive line the way defensive linemen play. That's the end of the third quarter. They'll change direction. With Dallas leading by three and a quarter to play. Six days till Mike Tyson fights live on Fox Free. Life rarely imitates orange cones. 
Orange cones, however, can be made to imitate life. At Lexus, we've created a suspension system so advanced, it's smooth when you want it to be, unresponsive when you need it to be. The 1996 LS400. Impossible. The laws of Lexus state otherwise. Oh. Down for the call, see I know him well Bad his brother, watch out to shoot the pill He's action, action When I bought my certified you Saturn I brought along my daughter My boyfriend My wife He's my fiancé now and Then my mom came with me To check it out But Saturn had already done that I even got a good warranty I was kind of expecting not to have a warranty You know exactly what you're getting Exactly Which for me was Boom to breathe when I bought my certified used Saturn, they treated me like I was buying a Maserati or something. The price was the price. No haggling. The same day I test drove it. I bought it. Bought it. I bought it. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. First car I've ever bought by myself. Now we've got cops six nights a week on Fox Philadelphia. These are terrible. 17, 14, Pat Summerall, John Madden, as we have one more quarter to go. The Dallas offense, well, it hadn't done well. Didn't do well third quarter. Smith, seven rushes, seven yards. Aikman, oh, out of five. Zero for five. And conversely, the Eagle defense has really tightened up in that area That's because Emmett Smith started running, and they've really shut that run down. That's where the credit should go. Here's Emmett tackled in the backfield, hit in the backfield by William Thomas. He came off the corner. Yep, they started they, they started playing more aggressively on those corners. They started getting more penetration. And you're going to see, here's William Thomas here. They're going to run to this side. And instead of waiting and playing here, he comes and plays over on this side of the ball. See when the ball snap, boom, he comes right now. And when Emmett Smith gets that ball, William Thomas is there waiting for him. Ran right past Larry Allen's block. He was pulling third and seven. Williams in motion. Here's Aikman. No, the check bounced off his shoulder. Covered by a linebacker. And Bill Romanowski was running all the way with Novacek. That's one thing about Ray Rhodes. He's always done that as a defensive coach. He will, he will put linebackers on tight ends and have them cover them man for man. Oh, he did deflect it. He didn't yep. hit Novacek. I yep. thought it did. I mean, he went. He, he he ran for a man to man from the line of scrimmage. He has a phrase. He tells his defenders, "You're accountable." If he comes in this area, ball takes an eagle bounce and they down it. The Cowboys do. Darren Smith downed it, and the Eagles will take over at their own 21. A 23-yard punt by Jet. Yes, another morning, another trip to the office. But in the new Mercedes E-Class, you're in one of the safest cars on the road. You're inside a protective cage with front airbags and, get this, side airbags. Heaven knows there are animals on these roads. season this is Jack he's learning about airplanes on a PC with an Intel Pentium processor inside the Pentium processor has the power to make software look sound and feel more real 
which lets Jack's imagination really take off. The Intel Pentium Processor. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, where safety, reliability, performance, and value are never optional. By Dockers Flat Front Khakis, proud makers of nice pants. And by Intel, the world's leading maker of microprocessors. With John Madden, Pat Summerall back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Eagle ball at their own 20. Dallas leading 17-14. 14. 14 minutes left to play. Pete to water. Ricky Waters gets out to about the 24 right now. Again for McDonald's game break. Let's return to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. Hey Pat, Herman Moore, number 84, at 6'3, defended by six foot Chuck Cecil. Moore wins the jump ball for his 14th touchdown reception of the season. Lions by 14 over Houston. Take it back to Pat and John. It's 17-14 at Veteran Stadium. Eagles have the ball, second and six at their own 25. Waters was the man in motion. Pete dropped the ball. And let's see as they unstack who came up with it. Cowboys on left. Rodney Pete, I didn't see anybody hit it. He just dropped it. Well, he did just drop it. You're right. He was just going back, and he drops the ball. It looked like he was he was coming back. You see, he has the ball up there, and as he goes to, to, to bring it back to throw it, the ball just goes out the back door. And there's Leon Lett ready to get the, uh, the fumble. And so it's a first down, Cowboys, after that turnover, the second by the Eagles, at their 15, at the Eagle 15. Isn't that something? I mean, he's just dropping back. He got it on that three three step drop. He got it on that third step, brought the ball back to, to cock it to throw it, and it just went right out the back. Two tight ends for Dallas. Emmett Smith. Emmett to, to the 10. I'll say this Leon Led has played a play right end, right defensive tackle. And then when Russell Maryland got hurt, he played left defensive tackle, and he has played like heck today. He really has. I mean, he has been in that Philadelphia Eagle defensive, uh, offensive backfield all day. As you say, when it comes time for good players, maybe great players, to step up, they do. That's why I would think that they would feed the ball to Emmett Smith on this drive. Second and six. Again, it's Emmett. Down inside the 10 looks like about the seven. Yeah, I think Big Nate looks better in the in the white jerseys. In fact, I think all the Cowboys do. You know, you look at the Cowboys in these blue things that they have here, and they just don't look like the Cowboys. It just doesn't look like a, it, it's all one piece. Now that's six and a one in front of Nate's a little too small there. He's he's stretching that one out a little, isn't he? <laughs> well. The six is not doing too well either. <laughs> yeah, but that one's in big trouble. <laughs> Third and three. Emmett again? Or does he throw it? No, I think I think Emmett again. <laughs> the Darrell Johnston who's down just outside the five. This is going to be an interesting spot here, whether it's a first down or not. This is going to be very interesting. And then if it's not a first down, then what do the Cowboys do? Well, I think they got to go for the first if it's not. But nobody asked me. I'll ask you, what would you do? I would kick the field goal. I wouldn't want to kick the field goal. I mean, you're, as your coach now, you're hoping like heck if it's a first down. The percentage says you have to kick the field goal if it's not, but it is. So you don't have to worry about it. So we don't need to argue, I guess. No, no. Because then that then then that that would take them out of one field goal being able to tie you. But now again, by now getting that first down, now I think they can go back and again start giving the ball to Emmett Smith. Or maybe on first down, it wouldn't be bad because they're staying in the huddle a long time. Yeah. Usually when you're in a huddle this long, it's going to be a pass play. But now a fake to Emmett Smith and some kind of pass wouldn't be bad on first down. Michael Orban split wide left. 
Williams doing it. Smith of the ball came loose, and the Eagles have it. Zornich came up with it. He's back in the end zone, but he made recovery in the playing field. The Eagles are trying to say that it was in the end zone. The officials are marking it on the goal line. This is the second time in two weeks that Emmett Smith has fumbled down in this area. There's a heck of a hit right on the ball. Zordich is right there. He recovers it right there about the two-yard line. Watch his hit there. It's Kurt Govea. Kurt Govea took his helmet. It was in the left hand of Emmett Smith, and Kurt Govea put his helmet right on the football. 17-14, Dallas leading. The Eagles have the ball just inside their two-yard line. That was a heck of a play by Govea, yes, though. Was. I mean, he was free, and he not only had to make the tackle, but he put his helmet. He found the ball with his helmet. He gives to Waters, who gets outside the five. That's always the first goal last week. The Eagles had this same situation coming off their goal line. They threw three times incomplete and had a punt. And they had a punt right off their goal line. Now, the first goal is to always get it out to the five yard line, and that gives your punter 15 yards. Clock running 10 and 10.45 left to play. Second down, Eagles. Again, it's Ricky Walker. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage this time and hurled it back toward the goal line. I tell you, they know that their that their line is beat up. Charles Haley's not here. Russell Maryland is out, and these guys that are in there have to play like heck. And again, this is a guy that's doing it here. Leon Led has really been controlling this line of scrimmage from any position that he's played. And you see, I mean, that's just control there. You just take on the block, you wait for the ball, boom, you throw the guy off you and make you tackle like that. that Leon Lett has dominated this game. Third and five. Pete back in the end zone. Chased in the end zone, almost a safety. He got out of it. Outside the 10. Tony Tolbert had a shot at him in the end zone. Well, I think I'm glad I got out of that one. Because that's that's a danger, you know, throwing out of your own end zone. One is getting tackled there. The other is getting a penalty. If you have a penalty in the end zone, that's a safety. You know, you were talking about Leon letting the job he's done, and he has. But so has Hennings, and so has Tony Tolbert. Tony Tolbert is, has played better in this game than I remember him playing in the last two months. They're going to measure to see how far Pete got out. Deion Sanders in to return if they do punt. After you start dominating, then 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 they're, they're going to do everything to you. There were three guys that had their 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 hands on Leon Lett's face, and he still got in there to put the pressure on Rodney Pete. And he was the guy that almost sacked him and forced him out of the end zone. Hutton standing back deep in the end zone. Wait for the whistle. Sanders. And Kevin Williams back for Dallas. Hutton will have a little bit of a helping wind. No rush. This is a good kick. And it's going to be Kevin Williams who handles it at the 36 yard line where Dallas will take over. Fine punt. Out of the end zone by Hutton. He got it all. 17-14, Cowboys lead. Friday, December 15th at a theater near you. You build a race.
mixer with a precision groove to help the Norelco lift and cut system shave closer than ever before. And what do you get? The Norelco Razor, our closest shave ever. Yes, another morning, another trip to the office. But in the new Mercedes E-Class, you're in one of the safest cars on the road. You're inside a protective cage with front airbags and, get this, side airbags. Heaven knows there are animals on these roads. Only one of these great athletes will win the most prestigious award in sports. Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year, a one-hour special tonight on Fox. Fourth quarter, Dallas 17, Philadelphia 14. 9.27 left to play. Dallas ball at their own 37, own 36-yard line. In the second half, they haven't been able to do much. Three that's punts not, and a fumble. That's not that highly efficient offense uh -huh. that we knew the first part of this season. For the first part of this game. Outside Emmett Smith. No game. I don't know. You know, I mean, the Cowboys just don't look like the Cowboy. I mean, they don't do these kind of things. I mean, Troy Aikman doesn't throw no yard passes. Emmett Smith doesn't get the ball and run out of bounds for no yards. I mean, these these things that we see, or he doesn't fumble like that going in. The things that we see are, are very uncharacteristic of the Cowboys. But on the other hand, I think that the Eagles are playing very well on defense. Second and 10. 17-14 lead for Dallas. Reverse coming. Fake to Kevin Williams. Screen pass coming. Aikman just hit it on the ground. The Eagles had that one diagnosed. Yeah, you know that that's an ugly play or a diagnosed play when Derek Kennard ends up with a ball. That's when Troy good. Aikman starts back and Derek Kennard ends up with a ball, you know that that's, a, that's an ugly thing. As one of our friends said, that's not good. Watch Kennard when he catches it. He's going to spike hey, it between his good, legs. Good spike. That's that's a lot tougher job than it looks. <laughs> between the legs. Third. Not a lot of space in there. No. Nope. Play clock down to one second. Aikman gets gets rid of it down the middle, and the pass is incomplete. Kevin Williams says I caught it. The referee says no, no. Kevin Williams better watch out. And the Cowboys are going to have to punt. Kurt Govey is back there. He's the guy that made that big play down there in the goal line earlier on Emmett Smith. Williams was open. Let's see if it hit the turf. Oh, that's uh, a catch. I think that he I think he had that. I think he was right. Yep. Kevin Williams was right. He did have those hands underneath there. Ball that, never hit the ground. Nope, it sure didn't. Carpenter deep for the Eagles. Jet to punt it. Back for Dallas. 8:51 left to play. Jet's kick is going to hang for Carpenter. And he's got some room. Gets it to about the 37. The Eagles win on that exchange. After they had the ball down deep in their own end zone. 8:40 left to play. Dallas 17, Philadelphia 14. That's a first. Maybe you helped and didn't know it, or were part of it and just forgot. If you joined the American Express Charge Against Hunger over the last two years, you made a difference. 
But the fight isn't over. Every time you use your American Express card, we'll give to Share Our Strength, a leading anti-hunger group. Because now through December 31st, the charge against hunger is on again. Touch the future at Radio Shack. Touch total image video. Aptiva from IBM. Touch theater sound. Touch a complete multimedia experience. The IBM Aptiva has it all and more. Touch it for yourself at Radio Shack. And with special credit terms, we'll not only help you touch the future, we'll help you own it. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Can a love guru save the Bundys? Maybe this Dr. Richlu can make our marriage happier. The only doctor could do that is Kevorkian. Find out on Married with Children tonight on Fox. Michael Irvin hasn't caught a pass since the first quarter. And you know, and, and he's he's the playmaker on this team. And, and in fact, his license plate says playmaker. And when you get in a game like this, you have to get the ball to your playmaker. Ricky Waters to the 40. And you know, and they'll talk about double coverage and they're double covering, so we have to go to the other guy. I don't believe that. I mean, I think that that there are guys that that are good enough that you can find a way to get the ball to them. And I think you can also find a way to get the ball to them if they're double covered and you can find a way to get them out of double coverage. How long has it been that we've been watching Jerry Rice be double covered? Yeah, and, and you see right now Michael Irvin is a leader of this team and he can't lead because he's frustrated. On second down is Ricky Waters. This sweep left is cut down at about the 40. Five yard line by Darren Woodson. Yeah, it was funny when we were talking to Ricky Waters yesterday, and he was he was talking about the the Cowboy defense. The guy that he mentioned was Darren Woodson. Yeah, and he said, "Now there's there's a guy that's a football player. And you look at Darren Woodson. He came through about four guys yep. and passed four of his own guys to come over and make that tackle. Third and a yard for the Eagles. Clock running. Seven and a half minutes left." 17-14 Dallas. Waters got the first. Swans made the stop. Yeah, there's just a feeling in this game to me, Pat, and I, I, I don't know why. I mean, feelings don't mean anything, but this is going to be an overtime game. Feelings do mean. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't mean like you know predictions and all it's that cold. stuff. It's cold. Well, yeah, I mean, it's real cold. These fans are here. The players are playing, and. You know, there's going to be, it's going to go on. And I don't think this is going to be over in four quarters. First and 10, Philadelphia at their own 48 yard line. That Dallas defense has been tested a lot. Waters gets it to midfield. That'll bring up second and long. You know, in this, in this, Eagle line isn't isn't a great offensive line. I mean, they've had injuries and they've had guys suspended and they've had a lot of you know changes and different guys playing. Even within this game, we see Mo Elowenibi's in there now at left tackle. I mean, they've been making a lot of changes, but they've done pretty well in this they game, have, especially in the second half. They have scrapped all day. Second down, Pete back to throw it. Here comes the blitz, but they pick it up with Monk and Art Monk. Makes his second catch of the day, and it's close to first down yardage. Rodney Pete saw the blitz coming. Yeah, Ray Rhodes was saying that when he brought Art Monk in here, it was just amazing. He ran like a, a 4 5 40. Here's Art Monk, he's in the slot, and they get him where they're, where they're zoning, and Brock Marion was way off, and so he, he was able just to run that out and almost get the first down. Third half a yard. Maybe not that much. the sneak should be enough you see the center Raleigh McKenzie number 63 flew, flew, flew out there there's so a far he's the guy right down there if he had the ball it would have been way way a first down this may not be enough I know it well the first thing that I saw was Raleigh McKenzie come flying out of there but he didn't have the ball that's McKenzie here he's gonna he's gonna come flying right out and he just misses everything. He has to miss everything. Rodney Pete is in behind him, 
I think Rodney Pete has the first down. I think so too. They're going to measure right now. The only way he would not have a first down is if they got a bad spot. Today's game as they measure is being produced by Bob Stenner and directed by Sandy Grossman. It is a first down. Studios produced by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gordon and David Hill. I still think these people have to be the toughest people. Oh I mean, the boy. people on the sideline are tough. We had Mike Tyson up here. He's tough. Yeah. I think these fans that came here and then sit out here all day in this weather are the toughest people. First and ten, Eagles at the Dallas 42. One man to beat. That's Deion Sanders. He gets him out of bounds. <laughs> He's proud man. of himself, isn't he? At the end of this game, John and I will select the Miller Lite player of the game. It could just be Ricky Waters. Watch these moves that he makes. I mean, he's I mean he's making moves and moves and moves and moves, and then he bounces out. He's going to get by Brock Marion right there, and then Deion Sanders knocks him out, and he runs right into the sound guy. Look, he knocked the Prab guy back. He knocked the Prab over the Prab guy's head. Tony Tolbert limps off the field. Uh, we talked earlier about how he, he has two bad knees coming in. Ricky Waters wrapped up at about the 25 by Darren Benson. You know that's one way to to get good sound Pat when you hit the guy that's holding the sound thing. That's a prep. Listen to this. You'll get some sound <laughs> when you just run into it. Darren Benson by the way playing defense for the Cowboys now is six seven. 308 pounds, just 21 years old. Ricky Waters has been through the wars. And he gets the handoff, cuts it back for no gain this time, maybe a yard. Stopped by Darren Woodson. There is a player. He's right. And I think that, you know, Darren Woodson has had to get more involved in this running game because they're having trouble stopping the Eagles' run with their front seven. The front seven being the four defensive linemen and the three linebackers so they have to get their safety up there. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Philadelphia Eagles and the National Football League is prohibited. Third and eight. Pete's going to have to throw it. Back to throw is Pete. Passes. Look what I found, Ricky Waters. Yeah, but it's too short of that first down, yeah. although it is in that same area that gives the Cowboys problems. And if it's not a first down, and we know it's not a first down, the Eagles have to go for a field goal here. Ricky Waters didn't even know the ball was coming. He just found it. Well, he was probably looking himself to get up beyond the first down sure, marker, knowing sure. that, that if he's going to catch it, he wants a first down. He doesn't want to catch it and not have the first down. Gary Anderson to tie it to tr attempt to try it it's two for two successful from 42 yards from 27 yards this one's going to be about 41 a 38 and it's good the field goal will get the exact length in just a moment but the score is tied that's correct. Wendy's presents Hot Player of the Week. That's right, 18 marbles, sir. Woo, 15, Last week, Green Bay's Brett Favre was once again on fire as he remained the NFL's hottest quarterback. Favre burned the Bengals for 339 yards and three touchdowns to give him a league-leading 31 Favre, touchdown passes. In traffic? Oh, I don't know. Another sizzling performance makes Brett Favre a Hot Player of the Week. Sir? They're in the shapes of little portals. And when you walk, they bark. Shopping for the holidays? We have two gigabytes, 16 megs of RAM. We have a suggestion to help you through it. It's virtual reality, Mass. Look out, we're being invaded by spacemen. Come to Wendy's for a delicious Monterey Ranch chicken sandwich. It's a whole breast fillet, Monterey Jack, and a dollop of creamy ranch dressing blended with bacon. That way, everyone gets something they love for the holidays. 
Come to Wendy's for a Monterey Ranch chicken sandwich today. From the people at Game Players Magazine, a letter to Santa. Santa, don't screw it up. Get the right one. Only two ninety nine. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Dr Pepper, your local Dr Pepper bottler. Dr Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. 17 17 tie. It is cold. Look at the steam coming off the head of the players. Ricky Waters has been outstanding one more time. And that's the kind of game he loves. Evan Williams, the ball chased him back into the end zone. Well, he better jump on that, although the whistle did touchback, blow. Touchback, and there was a whistle. And the signal touchback. Anderson's kickoff made it to the end zone. And the Cowboys will take over at their own 20. You know, somewhere, again, we talked earlier when we saw Michael Irvin on the sideline. He hasn't caught a ball since the first quarter. And if these things are going to mean anything, I think he has to get involved in it. If they win today, they can clinch the division title, a second win, they get the bye, and a third, if they can win all three of their games, they can get home field throughout. If they should tie today, they still get into the playoffs. Here's Aikman. Up the middle, incomplete in the direction of Michael Irvin, knocked down by Bobby Taylor. There, Bobby Taylor is a rookie that has done a heck of a job. In the first game, they had Mark McMillan playing against Michael Irvin. In this game, Ray Rhodes wanted this bigger guy, so he put his, his rookie on him, and he wanted size on size, and that's exactly what he's getting. And he's getting a pretty good job to go with it. Well, you know, he had, he had his wide receiver. They had him be physical all week with Bobby Taylor because Michael Irvin is so physical, and that was Ray Rhodes' big thing this week. Second and ten. The Eagles don't blitz. Incomplete. No to check. So it slipped through his hand. Well, those guys in the sidelines have to watch out. This is good hitting weather. I mean, this, this, this whole intensity in this fourth quarter is being lifted by both teams. I mean, these fans are into it now. I mean, the whole thing is going on here. There's some stuff going on now. 17-17 tie, 245 left, third and 10 Dallas at their own 20. Push him up. Push him up. Let's hear it. They need 10 for a first. And Troy Aikman back to throw. Gets it out. Not enough for a first down to Corey Fleming. He's saying he was up and knocked backwards. He was up. Ray Rhodes wanted his corners to be physical. They are physical. Watch Mark McMillan come up here now. Boom, he makes that tackle right there. That ball should be spotted right there. That shouldn't even be close to a first down. And Dallas is going to go for it. Oh, I don't believe in this. I think a tie score on this situation, unless they're going to try and draw them off sides, I think they cannot go for it here. Emmett Smith's the deep back. Emmett Smith gets the carry. He doesn't make it. No, that's a bad call. You can't do that. that look at the Eagles. They know that call could have won the Eagles this game. Their field goal range right now. Right now, and then all they have to do is run that clock down. Now they're saying maybe the two-minute warning ran out. No, I don't think so. That ball was snapped before, and you can't stop the play in the middle of the play for the two-minute warning. No, that's that's the Eagles' ball. The Eagles stopped them. It's their ball. Barry Switzer is saying the two-minute warning. Barry Switzer ought to be saying that he shouldn't have called that play. No question he didn't get the first down. He's nowhere no, He close. didn't get it. That's that's great defense. The Eagles were all up there. There is nothing there. Now 
let's see. The All Cowboys' the offensive unit still on the field. Well, maybe they're saying that the two minutes. Watch the official on the far side of the field. He is signaling no play. You're right. You're right. They did say the two minutes came up before the ball was snapped. Denim in every pair of Levi's jeans. For years I dreamed of seeing Venice with my boyfriend Tom. I'd whisper about palazzo as gondolas. All he'd talk about is deadlines and business meetings. Finally, I went and booked two romantic weeks on the Grand Canal with my Visa Gold Card. Tom completely surprised. Visa Gold. Purchase power to make dreams come true. It's everywhere you want to be. Presenting the newest Black & Decker Dustbuster and Morgan the Butler. With twice the power as before, this Dustbuster will pick up practically anything around the house. Morgan, the newest Dustbuster. More power, more pickups. With my HE dandruff, I said I'd try it. Denerex tingles. Head and shoulders doesn't. Both have effective dandruff medicine, but Denerex has something extra that tingles, feels fresh. That's why I started using Denerex. The flakes, the itch, gone. Denerex, the serious dandruff shampoo. See, watch the official here. He's going to stop the play before the ball snap. He's going to say the two-minute warning. No, I don't think he did. That ball was snapped before he did that. Yep. That's not right either. He's I saying no play. I know, but he has to say it before the ball snapped. After the ball is snapped, it doesn't make any difference when the two minutes come up. The clock has been reset. The last time before we took that break, it was at a minute 58 seconds. Now it's two minutes. Yeah, and if that official's going to stop it, he has to stop the it before it's snapped. The occurred before the ball was snapped. Therefore, it's fourth down. I don't believe that. I mean, the, 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 the official didn't signal he didn't the two-minute warning until after the ball was snapped. And if the ball snapped, you can't, you don't stop the play for the two-minute warning. I'm now, still surprised the Cowboys are going for it going again. For it again. I think that was a bad call the first time they did it. I think it's a bad call now. It's fourth, and it's still a foot. Emmett Smith is still deep with Daryl Johnston in front of him. Same play. Didn't get it again. Didn't get it again. That's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What in the heck is going on? The score's tied. You're on the road. Woo. I don't know. The Eagles will take over at the Cowboy 30-yard line, about the 29 and a half. There's no place here. I mean, this is this is short yardage defense. The Eagles are selling out against the run. They have everyone up. They just read the thing. There's no chance. There's no chance to get that ball in there against that defense. The linebackers come fill the hole. The defensive backs are in the hole. The line control the line of scrimmage. But still, even that call, I mean, when you're in that area on the field, you have to punt the ball. Romanowski left the charge. This is Ricky Water. He'll run it straight ahead and let the clock run. Well, Dallas does have all three timeouts. They're going to have to start using them and use them on this series. Yeah, I thought I thought they got that call, that two-minute warning. I thought they dodged a bullet and I then they go so back too. and punt, and they did the same thing. Same play, <laughs> same result. Yeah, they deserve to lose. 17-17. We've invested billions to help businesses grow and provided billions more to improve homes and finance educations. We developed special insurance to pay for nursing home care and low-cost life insurance for people over 50. 
Because at Transamerica, we sell life insurance, but our real business is improving your life. Transamerica, life insurance, leasing, commercial and consumer loans. 17-17 at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Eagles ball inside the Dallas 30 at about the 27, second and eight. Each team with two timeouts remaining. That is, again, Ricky Waters, who crosses the 25 to about the 24. See, the Eagles have one more down to get a first down, because if they can get a first down here, then, then, then they can run the clock all the way down. If they don't get a first down, then, of course, they're going to have to go for the field goal on fourth down. Dallas just used their second timeout. And Dallas will use another timeout after, after this third down play. A dejected Emmett Smith. Yeah, it's been two lives for him. He had a great first half, and in the second half, he's had problems. And Michael Irvin. Irvin, who's the leader of this team, and Aikman hasn't been able to lead the team. Troy Aikman, I think, has been frustrated, frustrated by the situation, and frustrated by this Eagle defense. No question about that. But where that fourth down call came from in, in that situation, I have no idea. Twice. not get back to the line of scrimmage knock backwards it'll be fourth down and again the officials wave their arms and the timeout I believe is called yeah and the it's Cowboys, by Dallas their yep, third the Cowboys take their last time out the Eagles have two timeouts it's fourth down Philadelphia Field goal team Gary Anderson is three out of three hit from 42 hit from 27 hit from 38. One thing you want to do is leave your field goal kicker alone. Notice yeah. how all the Eagles stay away from him. Yeah they're all huddled up and he doesn't even go to the huddle. No one talks to him. No one pats him on the back. No one says anything. They don't have to do that. 17 17 tie. Gary Anderson on the field with Tommy Hutton holding. 42 yard field goal attempt will untie it if he hits. A minute and a half remains. Wait a minute. Nope. Now they blew the whistle before that kick was good from 42 yards away, but the whistle blew before the ball was snapped. Yeah, the that referee case. did blow the whistle before the that ball was snapped. Play doesn't count. Play doesn't the count. Ball, the ball was kicked before the ready for play was blown. There is no foul, but there's no play. Ed Hockley's mouth is almost frozen, but Gary Anderson's leg is not. Well, here's Ed Hockley, the referee, and you can see that they didn't give the signal to play yet. You see, he's he's in the way of the snap. Now he's saying start the time, but they didn't start it back here. They didn't say it was okay to kick. And he did blow the whistle yes, he did. before that ball was snapped. So there's no penalty. It'll still be a 42 yard field goal effort by Anderson and Ed Hockley the referee is still in the way see he stands there so that you can't snap the ball until everyone is ready a minute and a half left 17 17 score see, there's the signal right there Anderson with Hutton holding outside 42 he hit the first one and he hit that one. The Eagles capture the lead 20 to 17. Now you could feel yesterday and talking to Ray Rhodes and these Eagle players that they weren't sure that they were going to win. They weren't confident they were going to win, but they knew that they were going to come out here and fight these Cowboys today, and that they did. You knew they were going to fight them tough and hang in there. You're going to be in the mud, said Ray Rhodes. I'll be in the mud with you. And I think as long as Ray Rhodes coaches this Eagle team, they're going to fight. And they're going to be that kind of team. Because he knows how to win. He knows what kind of players it takes to win. 
And Gary Anderson's 42 yard field goal tied it up. This is the last Dallas offensive effort. Yep. On fourth down they went for it. Yep. And then and then they said that the clock saved them on that one. Great short yardage defense. So then they go the second time and here they don't get it again. Same but watch play. this defense control the line of scrimmage. Everyone control everyone in the backfield. Stubbs coming down the line of scrimmage and being on top. Anderson's kickoff to Kevin Williams. Chases him five yards deep in the end zone. He downs it there and the Cowboys are out of timeouts. I'll tell you this Eagle team really did something. And you look what happened to the Cowboys. Troy Aikman was only three out of his last 13. Emmett Smith last 16 rushes 28 yards and a fumble. Michael Irvin hasn't caught a pass since the first quarter. Second half possession four punts one fumble and down. But again all those things are part of the Cowboys problem. But that's great Eagle defense great Eagle preparation. So the Cowboys have it first and ten at their own 20. Three wide receivers, no timeouts. And here's Aikman up in the pocket. Incomplete. Intended for Kevin Williams. They can't stop the game except by getting out of bounds or with an incomplete pass. That's you what wonders. they just did. Remember when the when the San Francisco 49ers beat the Cowboys and you thought well that'll you know they'll get them again and maybe the 49ers have their numbers. Then I had a feeling that the Redskins kind of copied what the 49ers did and gave them the same set of problems yep. without as good a team. And today I think the Eagles have copied those same things. Second and ten. Eight on the throw. Just gets rid of it. Almost intercepted intended for Novacek. He was under pressure. William Thomas with the heat on. Again, and it's only a three-man rush. They're, they're, they're playing zone. They have eight men deep. So if you're going to get pressure, you got to get pressure with three guys. And that first guy there was William Fuller. Third and ten. Fleming wide to the right. Urban wide left. Aikman back to throw it. With time. Incomplete. Emmett Smith. If he had caught it, it would have done no good. There's a flag on the play, I believe. No flag. No flag. Fourth and ten. You know, the way everyone, the thing that everyone's doing is they're kind of doubling Michael Irvin. And then they're playing, you know, like Novacek and Johnston and all his other receivers, his short receivers, and Emmett Smith, they're playing them real tight so that he doesn't have that dump off. Fourth and ten. Dallas last crack at it. They have no more timeouts. The Eagles lead by three, 20 to 17. Here's Aikman, steps up in the pocket. Michael Irvin gets makes the catch, gets the first down. They can't stop the clock, however. Now a minute left. But the thing they can do is is, spike is, it. is is they can come up and spike it, but they only have to get in position for a field goal now. Aikman's going to throw it. Irvin, incomplete. It was in there. Irvin couldn't hang on. I tell you, this Bobby Taylor has played a heck of a he game. He really has. I mean, part of it is is they've doubled, they've given him some help, but... But Ray Rhodes wanted him to play aggressively on Michael Irvin, and he has played aggressively on Michael Irvin all day. Here he is sitting back in his own. The ball is thrown. Instead of waiting, he goes up there and he hits the ball just as it gets there. Second and ten. Dallas at their own 35. 46 seconds left. Time for Aikman to Emmett Smith. Headed for out of bounds and stops the clock. 38 seconds left. A yard gain. That won't get it done. Now they have to get the ball down the field. Obviously, they 
They need a couple more first downs. Here you see Michael Irvin. He's the guy that he should be trying to get the ball to. 